Welcome to Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen. U.S. Poker Open event number four. Day one is closing in on the money. The final 12 will get paid, as you saw on the screen. And we have Phil Helmuth and Nick Schulman taking center stage here, as we will provide you with a few fun hours of poker coverage. And I've been told, Donnie, that there's oh already God. been some chirping in like the room between myself. Phil and Nick, <laughs> so I can yeah. only imagine that we are in yeah, for right. a treat. Like 480, right? Yeah. I mean, they're already talking right now. I think they're about to play a pot against one another, so. Let's go. Shulman starts this one off, limping the small blind. This one or this time? <laughs> Let me check the table. Uh, or check, sorry, excuse me. Ace, jack, king. Little blind battle action here. Best time oh. winner. Winner. I do say it opposite. I said I had the best hand, and I win. I almost popped it up 40 more before the flop. Mm -hmm. But ironically, I raised you with do say to club the last time. From the small blind? Yeah. That's very interesting, given that I had the eight of clubs, but... Well, I thought <laughs> fucking 100% wrong, so very, I had do say to clubs. It's very interesting. That's what I had. <laughs> One of us is lying, and it's not me. <laughs> I happen to remember because it was clubs. And this time, do say no. Pretty sure they're both lying, actually. Oh, my right? God. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, as long as our graphics are right, Shulman had 10 9, and Tommy yeah. was not suited. <laughs> so, <laughs> If he went to the club, that would be too big a deal for the club. You know what I mean? There would be a, too much of a scene. I have been, I've been to some both clubs yes, where it got a little crazy. Water. Just not in the last few years. <laughs> 17, right? If you're new to our bonus coverage, my name is Rep Rinkema, Donnie Peters alongside me. This is event four, day one. They're not in the money yet. The final 12 will get paid. We'll get you an update on the other players left in the field as well as Justin Saliba is all in here for his final 17,000 chips. Things cool. not looking too good for him as Helmuth has Outflopped him with queen eight, nine of spades on the check. turn. No check. player with a spade. A little also with an eight, by the way. Picks up a straight draw here check. on the turn. River is the nine of diamonds, completing the board. 10,000. Small ball from Helmuth. The call from Little. And the queen will play. Quick exit here for Saliva as Helmuth rakes this one in. And as I was saying, this is day one. We are providing some bonus coverage here to US Poker Open. Donnie and I are live every single night to give you an inside look into what it takes to make the final table of these events. All our final tables during the USPO are exclusively on PokerGo.com, which is where you can get professional commentary by the likes of Metagame. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks. So hopefully, please don't miss out on that. The, the metagame is hopefully we can just get enough volume in. <laughs> I mean, Nick, all they do is but we can't. every fucking hold of But we can't, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> yeah, you have no back off you. You race with Jack 10 offsuit, knowing I'm in that mode. I was piling on you that time. But I would have been wrong, because you didn't three I'm going to call. So. Cool. Now somehow all in. Helmuth emphatically announces a call with two eights. Everyone else out of the way. So somehow's going to be all in here and quite crushed because Helmuth's got a pair that matches up with one of somehow's cards. How much is it? I mean, oh, the prepay? The pre are we doing the prepay? The third hand of the feature table here and immediately we're seeing lots of potential blood as Samao is on the ropes as King 10 6 makes an appearance on the flop here. Eight on the turn. Mm. The diamond, though. Wow. So Samal's not dead. Samal looking for a diamond to hit a flush to survive. If not, Helmuth will rake this one in and continue to chip up here. River card. The 10 of spades. Full house for Helmuth. And he'll bust two <coughs> players in a row. Okay. This might be a. Uh, an omen for 
what's to come as Helmy looks to win his second USPO title. Of course, was successful last year. You weren't three batting me with eights, bro. Yeah, I swear I do say the club. That I believe, but not eights. That's not your style. It's kind of like aces or nine four offsuit type shit. No, I got it. It's gotta, tricky. So it's you know. No, I have to re race with those hands now because you guys are looking like you know I'm gonna go crazy. Not really. I just think you're tight. But you do three bet sometimes. But I don't think you're so crazy, Phil. I three bet him with ten four. I really do. Well, do well now, course. now let's see what you're gonna do with this guy, though. All right. <laughs> let's see all yes, that, all that yes, talk, yes, buddy. But. <laughs> oh my God. Do I think you're afraid? Oh, no. Yes, you're, wait one, you're too delusional to be afraid per se. Correct. But I do think you feel things that you don't want to necessarily feel. That is something in the family of fear. Yeah. Yes. But afraid? No. <laughs> no, you're too tough for all that. That's true. What? What have we gotten ourselves into here? Uh, final 26, 23. by the way. 26 players left. But you know when a man's hot. Jesse's hot. I mean, you know that. That's just yes. objective. <laughs> Jesse's, <laughs> listen, listen, Jesse's hot and he's been playing good. And when he did the King Five of Clubs movie, woke me up. Because yesterday I started just three seconds. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. He woke me up. Good. Right before the World Series. Yeah. Well, it's my third day of Hold'em, so. What have you been playing? It's weird when I play Hold'em tournaments every day, I get better every day. Yeah. Which is which is a good thing for the series. Are you sure that's true? I'm sure it's well based on my results. Fair Heads enough. Up. You might just say I'm lucky. Fair enough. Check. It's about twenty thousand. Twenty. Maybe a. Uh, Shulman struck a nerve because how many decides to fire in a raise pre-flop with King Dews off? He is in the cutoff, so late position. Shulman made the call from the big blind. 20,000. Ace 5 3, check. 20k call. Shulman turns the straight. We're all, only a few hands in, and it already feels personal. Out, huh? Interesting. Might have a straight. I love this dynamic. I am here for this. I like, I like Can I have an aquapana? Shulman. Thank you. Feels like so often. Uh, yeah, I'll take just one gonna more aquapana. Checking behind, just full style. Fold. So. I just take Nick, you're alive. Go lead, lead, and I like it. Get some chips out. Good way. fold. Does fold. I don't know. Well, I, I swear I didn't look at my cards. Five handed on that one. So Before yeah. the flop or even on the flop. And when I looked on the turn, I saw a deuce first card. I said, I'm going to have a straight. And Nick's getting in bed against me. You had a duck? You were in the dark, that him? Yeah. I would have checked if I knew you were in the dark. But For I real. I had king and a deuce. This is a must-watch poker because it's only a matter of time before Jesse Lonis does something wild to set off Helmuth, and then Shulman, of course, is going to chime in. So. If you're tuned into this stream right now, you might as well just stick around for the next few hours. And while you're at it, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. It's very much appreciated. Poker strong this time, huh? I'm trying to deliver wow. the most poker okay, possible check. here. You scared me. The way what's I put up? the chip in? I don't know. <laughs> no idea what's going on. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have to say much, Donnie. <laughs> Showman limped here from the small check. blind. Help me check. Despite that, I'll fire. That was pretty strong, too. You got me in bad shape. Dominated. That I believe. It's just constant. This is just constant. I love it. A lot of familiar faces in the chat. Russell, as always, manning the fort. Love to see it. We have over the there, Jesse, seven hundo? Ish? Yeah. Josh, Joshua Argentino asking, do Shulman and Phil have his history? I think that's putting it light. Nice job, Jesse. But just I don't make think it every it, fucking day, huh? Yeah. There's no animosity, Donnie. There's just some good banter to be had. I like you, Jesse. Yeah, I mean, I think Shulman is always gonna. You know it. He knows. He knows. Call it like he sees it. You know, he has Jesse no reason like not this. to be honest. And sometimes that might be style. some some 
bluntness to your face, but all in, all in good fun, I, I think Race. so. 20,000. And look at this. Shulman finds Queens. Makes it 20 I'm raise. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby. Help me with the King Deuce. Race. The only explanation is that Shulman Calling Helmut tight has struck a nerve because he raced blind. He's doing this. I mean, <laughs> what is happening here? Helmut makes it 70k with King Deuce from the small blinds. Now, if you're Shulman, Donnie, are you happy to let Helmut just, you know, keep blasting? 195. Or? Oh, 195? here it goes. 195 is announced. Do you think Shulman? Just goes on the assumption that Helmy has to have some kind of value here. This is going to be fun. <laughs> Show I know, you don't have anything. Nick. Show it though. I want to see. I want confirmation. Oh, something is brewing. You really here. do just keep having the the duck. Excuse me. Now we're playing, Nick. I fucked up that time, buddy. Put a poll in the chat. I was in the but dark. you never bluff post, so I got to go for it pre, you know? That was interesting because I actually didn't look at my hand again, and I had king deuce. <laughs> what do you think this playing pots first me and not looking at your hand is a I good idea? I thought you were weak. Fair enough. I don't care. So why don't you rip it again? You thought then then you weren't sure when I... I wasn't sure, yeah. Unless it sets up a... Raise 20,000. Well, that doesn't mean anything. I've already told him I'm super fast mode, so he's going to make a mistake. And then I just have to, super like, get in with King mode. 9. This is incredible. Crazy. I had it, bro. <laughs> what, what do you think led him to think that Shulman was weak? Because all Shulman did is look at his cards and race. Donnie, <laughs> when you have white magic, there is no explaining where these thoughts come from. It's not like Showman's like some inexperienced Might player who's just a tellbox out there. I mean, it's definitely like didn't have a four and a seven. <laughs> Everybody's in a hurry against Philly. The only way you can add magic is show bluff, show bluff, show bluff, and then they just get it in dead. That's a poker. Helmut once again banking on the fact that a cooler in his favor is coming in the near future. It was my button I pushed it over there. Shulman, by the way, up to 700K here in the early goings of this feature table. BD in the chat says, old man zooming. Joshua says, this is so freaking fun. Yeah, and we only just got started. This is hand number eight. Hopefully, these guys will continue to put on a show. I will say one thing, I'm fucking no through. Today, I'm dangerous. <laughs> but to myself too. <laughs> it's not a real person, ladies and gentlemen. Ten seconds. It's not a real person. This is definitely a limping spot. Cool. I just gave the dangerous speech. Limps and just snap limps. Eight, five, no, I did. I did something very weird earlier, Jesse. I don't know if you'd have liked my play. I limped in with. King, queen of clubs, and then the guy moved in, and I folded within two seconds, and Nick got mad at me. He had like 14 blinds, bro. Check. Check. Ah, oh, I can't, I just can't check. Set of too big. And I didn't get mad. Cool. Don't draw dead, Jesse. That's a... Look at this. Club on the turn, giving Helmy the flush. Nothing for Lonis, though. 15. Are you kidding me? Straight flush? I have a flush already, I can tell you that. Show one. Show one club. I have a flush. Stop never lying. Lied on the stream. Really? Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. My bad. I didn't know you never lie on the stream. I never lied on the stream. Fair enough. He already said he had 15,000 drawing dead, Jesse. He didn't have eight clubs. But he could have just misread his hand, not, not necessarily lying. And I can't check back. 15, I figure you have to call with deuces or threes. She 
Yeah, I think I might look this time because four guys behind me are all capable of three betting. You don't look. <laughs> well, no, I pretended to look. A couple of queens now for Shannon Shore. Nick does not want to get outplayed, so. He's in the small blind here. Yes, against Nick Shulman in the big blind. Race 30,000. What do you mean by that? I don't want to get outplayed. Well, you got to No, it's okay. Well, what do you mean by that exactly? I think you. You think, uh, you think if you outplay me right now on the stream that I won't just chalk it up to another experience in my life. You think that's going to really sit with me? No, not sit with you. That's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? I'm saying there, there's a subset of people that would, yeah. There's a subset of people like. If you in particular outplayed me, it would sting a little bit for obvious right. reasons. Right, and so but then therefore you have to get it in super light and you know, like playing back. No, you've got to get it in good. You already outplayed me. I mean. I really? That was just one. That was just one. No, I don't mean the hand you're lying about from before. I mean, I'm just now. I, I, I think I can even show you a text. I texted my friends three hours, two hours ago. Well, you know, the lie becomes Race, reality. A couple of aces for Little. John Little has not said a word at this table. Has pocket aces. Let's see if we can make something happen here. Yeah, him and Shannon Shore both have been quiet. Lonis has chimed in a little bit here, and of course, it's been the showman at Helm. Here's a show. text from an hour ago. To Matisau, let me guess. Yeah, I three bet you with eight deuce, <laughs> then I jowis with ten four. Dude, Pure game. instincts, baby. Been nice in, in uh, caps. You got the yes men there on that is shot. It, just that, you're that, sick, that's dude. Exclamation that is, points. I've been 10 for 10 <laughs> that's why you're the best. Until you got me. <laughs> until you got me that hand. I've won Still 10 of my 10 through. bluffs in the last two days. Time extension. Really? You're welcome, Phil. Nice hand. I mean, you got the best hand out there that time. You, you really had eight deuce. Helmer's burning a time you extension chip, the eight showing a Mike Madison. No, then, then, I, then I had the eight of spades, though, for real. For <laughs> really real. Normally, I would say that as a joke, but I really did have a black eight. You watch me play heads up. What do you mean? All my heads up matches. You were in the booth. I don't. I wasn't. You know, I don't really you remember. The like the. You know, it was. It was such a small sample, Phil. No, don't yeah, get me wrong. Though. You, did, only, you did your thing. Don't get me wrong. Two, there's only two but ways I don't. To win it's, I don't remember terms. like. There's only two ways to go win ahead. Go ahead. Tell us. One, you have to, to get all the chips is one way, for sure. Sorry, I'll stop. No, go ahead. <laughs> I mean, that's that's true. To get every yeah, chip is. I, I, I I'm sorry. Please, I agree, I agree. please. I'm sorry. But You've won a lot of them. I think you're missing. I think you're missing like like some stuff you could like maybe tease me about like by not listening. No, no, I am listening. Two ways. One, one, you figure out a way to pick up free chips that no one else can pick up. Uh-huh. I've been very good at that for like 35 years. Uh-huh. But I'm talking about winning no limit tournaments with good players. Okay, so I won one in the yeah, studio I mean, last you year. You did, man. I'll just fuck it with you. I'll just try to rile you up. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> but the good players actually three bet more often. When I'm playing at the World Series, the other way to win is to just play, play super tight all the time. I'm really good at that. I can just fold forever. That's against the amateurs. That's when not I that easy, things. by the way, that folding forever. It's really not. It's annoying A lot fuck, of people dude. can't do that. Oh, no one can do it. You know? It's annoying as fuck. If you just call raises with, like, king, jack suited, king, you just keep missing. And... Just fold and cockroach oh. around, and then oh, you're back, and God. then you win. And then, I, and, then I, and then I'm so tilted. What, what's the other way to win? Were, were, there, were those the two? What, what was the first way, though? The first way is to figure out how to pick up free chips. Jesse I like that a Jesse lot. Jesse figured that out. I like that so, a lot. So Shannon figured that out. You figured that out. I think like five of us at the table are pretty good at picking up free chips. I like that, Phil. Today. I like that, though. So in the old days, I used to just three bet every hand and no one ever called. So then I just win tournaments. I just keep picking up chips. And you could two bet every hand. Do you think you have you won the most tournaments of all time, you think? Or, or you don't know? That's a tough stat, I, I the guess. The big ones, yeah. Do you know that that's true? I believe it's true. But you look at hold embraces, I think maybe I have 14. I think somebody has six now. No, I mean, I know bracelets, but I'm saying just like tournaments, you know? What counts as a big tournament? Yeah, I don't know. It's a good question. Back in the day, it'd be like a five day This is, my, I'll tell yeah, you this. I this would definitely my, count that. This is like, my fourth Holden tournament of 2024. So I, I'm not getting any reps. 
Well, You're I, gonna get overpassed. I decided this was important enough to show up to, so I came. Does it bother you that Sean Deeb is, is gonna be tough, you know? I mean, this guy never, you know what I mean? I this Sean, guy, I think this Sean guy Deeb. could be really tough on the all-time. Yeah, I think he's, he's the one that could, uh, he's fantastic. He plays every game really well. I have a lot of respect for Sean Deeb. Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hello. Oh, fuck. They brought Roger again? Got the dirt Roger farmer. Oh, baby. Phil, 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 Phil's in one of his moods, Roger. Oh. Is it dual? Oh, no. You thought I was playing wild yesterday, <laughs> Roger. I didn't think you were playing wild, by the way. Yesterday. Yeah, cause I, because you, I slowed down for a while. So Switch Johnny, gears. And then when I was waiting for hands, <laughs> I lost all my fucking chips. Uh, same thing. Yeah. Yeah. No, today, today Phil's in eighth gear right now. Man. Yeah. I have been. Nice. He's got something special going. I want to see this eighth gear, Phil. That's good. I just three bet Nick with, uh, without even looking at the cards. Oh, Paul, I pretended have, to look. Paul, and when he four bet me, I was can very I have, disappointed you to come? see a king and a deuce. I can't believe you didn't pile that in or click it back. Oh, could you have made it 190? You could have made it 335. Yeah, you'd have been committed there. Why? Now, now I change it up and show you Ace King and we get it all in. I mean, historically, it's been a lot of the Ace King. <laughs> I'm always worried you have Ace King. Not even Ace King. You know what really worries me with you? Aces. You guys good with the chip count? No, you. Oh man. If you're just tuning in, we had some new players move to this table. Dylan Wiseman, Roger Johnson taking their seats. Jesse Lonis has recently been added as well. But of course, tonight it is all about Nick Shulman and Phil Helmuth. They are side by side, talking nonstop. Donnie and I will I back away. Back time. <laughs> We're just going to listen in on this. This is just fantastic. I would sing the next right, year. If I could find a way. <laughs> Welcome, Dylan. Dylan Wiseman brings 627,000 chips you played much to with Dylan Weisman? the table. Uh, we played some mixed games. I thought he played pretty well. Roger Johnson, 226. Most people, most most of you top pros fuck up the mixed games. It's unbelievable. Sean Deep doesn't. Don't get triggered. I'm not going to get triggered. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, who's had the best mixed games record in the last three years? I'm not going to say anything. You're Me. right. It's you. I know it. I actually don't know if that's true but when I said it's you them. just to you know okay. it probably isn't you know, but you know I'm you know I'm top three at least I, 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 I don't I, I don't but you might be but I don't I don't actually tables know in seven different games in 2021 I hear you I'm just saying none I'm of them not, no limit hold them you no know, I know but like oh no, you didn't Ch know that. Chad Eversley's won the two dealers choices back okay. to back you know yeah. so deep okay. like I'm just saying some people have gone off I don't know that you have the best mixed game record in the last three years at the World Series but you might Probably in that conversation. Oh yeah. He sleeps problems. like a baby, Jonathan. <laughs> I do sleep like a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. Today I fell asleep at 8 a.m. 8? Wow. What happened? You just couldn't sleep, or you were doing something? I finished eighth place last night, so I was just fucking steaming. I know, but that was what was that? that one? I mean. That was at midnight. You couldn't get to sleep by four. It's you brutal. Yeah. Fair enough. Brutal. That's that champ mindset I only. Yeah, I just hate fucking losing. It's tournaments, though. You don't like. I could have even folded the ace of spades against Roger, even though it was like a snap call by math. Math radius. Let's do 22. But it's 22,000. King with Helmut in this king. Yeah, yeah the king third time. I'm playing so fast right now, it's okay. crazy. Okay, I'm going to fold this one. I'm just going to let it go. Fuck, I keep picking the same hand. This is the third time I've had king deuce at this table. Yeah, we crushed. That's the third time I raced in the dark and hit King Deuce. Fucking weird. I should have just been betting in the dark like Nick did. Okay. Yeah, do it. He hit you with the four bet, right? Well, he three bet in the dark, allegedly. See, the tournament I, I won. Four bet in the dark, I did. I, I was in the light. Oh. I'm not claiming the dark. <laughs> but I did make a bad four bet for sure. Yes, King Deuce, I'm not going to be right. 
Well, you know, you know I, I had a great hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 it could have he's always live shooting. to have the unders. It's, it's but rough. That's, yeah. one and one, though. Maybe he... But I thought that time he might just smash it in because we have a weird thing going on right now. He's, he gets well, a little... Well, it appears. But I try it? To, that's part of the magic. I make it appear like you and I are fighting. I three bet you a couple times. There's 22,000. But my thing is I just always think you have aces. Fuck the noise. <laughs> I got to go with history. Yeah, because you've seen me fold more than anybody. Yeah. yeah. You're like, how you raised? My favorite thing of the night so far is Nick Shulman pointing Why out. Why did I like Jesse Playing Shulman? in the light, Donnie. He's like a young version of you. <laughs> I, I think I think he uh, I think he uh, I think he's shown a little uh, respect to the uh, people that got in there, which means something to us older generation. We like it when someone gives us a little respect. Don't yeah. let him butter you up with this bullshit, yeah. Jesse. Keep no, doing your thing, all right? Oh, I'm <laughs> Jesse and I are <laughs> in war mode. Trust me. I, like, but he knows he knows that I, I will do some things. I would never bluff Helmian. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Not one out of respect. <laughs> 22. There's 22. He's improved to king six. Yeah, okay. <laughs> king six is uh, far superior suited, at least, than king deuce. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, this is a much more entertaining helmet, play. you know? <laughs> I looked this time, so? by the way. <coughs> At both? I do not have king deuce, that's all I can say. Neither do I. Maybe. So how many raised king six of hearts? Lonus called from a small blind 10 out of diamond. Shannon Shore is going to get in there as well with the jack 10. Three ways here. Opponents. Three players. I better make some. Jack 8 6, rainbow on the flop here. Shore Check. catches Check. the top oh. pair. Helmet with the six oh. and the back doors. And Lonus with the open ended straight draw. So quite a lot going on here. We see three quick checks. <coughs> a little bit of something here for everyone. Let's see if Shore wants to. Check. Let's fire 30. It's hard to imagine I have anything in there. There it does. <laughs> I checked the flop. Wants to do stuff. He just want. He wants to do something. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> he is literally crossing his fingers to get anything playable versus Hamid. In, in this case, he's got the opening of the straight draw. Uh, Shannon Shore, by the way, who has cool. the best hand right now, is going to come along as well. So interesting river card incoming right now. Three players. Deuce of hearts, the blank of, of all blanks. Shore with the check mark. Check. That was the card I wanted. I don't think I can bet it though. I will check. Check. Six is with the king. Shannon Shore showing the jack ten. He's taking this one down. Almost a value bet that forever. Thank you. Another guy I like, classy guy, but it's hard to get to know Shannon. He's so quiet. Am I? Can, you think you can be a little quiet? He's listening. <laughs> he's listening? Yeah. He is listening. He's paying attention. Great guy. Thank you, guys. Another well liked guy in the poker world. But it's 22. Shannon Shore probably yeah. S tier. Likeable guy. Pam, <laughs> <laughs> a fan? Janet? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. You guys have a lot. Of, we've had a lot of happy days, haven't you? Yeah, man. <laughs> I believe Shannon Shore was. Oh, was uh, a national championship game that Saban won? In John Little's wedding? Or vice versa? Definitely. They are good friends. LSU. Good friends. When he was LSU. Oh, gotcha. LSU, Oklahoma. Mm. 
I brought Mike the Mouth Madison. Mm. Took that was crazy. Yeah, nothing like those big college football games. Mike was like he bet Oklahoma. Jason 15. White was the quarterback. Mm. Mike was not happy. <laughs> We got a phone call before the game that the play of the year was to bet Alabama, so we all switched our bets. Mm. Except Mike. No, nah, Phil. We're in the Oklahoma family section. It's Providence. Did Mike Madison just get a southern accent? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Uh, Roger Johnson here versus Shulman. We've arrived on the turn. Shulman made a 22K before the flop. Sure. Johnson called. Shulman bet 15K. Call again and now check check to the river. Shulman with the best of it here. Pair of sevens. Johnson might want to lead here. Check. Just check. Check. Down. Up to seven. When you finished last seven. night, Jesse? I mean, today. Uh, fourth. First, then fourth. Yeah. Just tuning in. This is day I want the one big eagle. of event four. <laughs> it is pretty dope. Final <laughs> 12 get paid. We're down to about oh boy, 23, oh what to do? 24 right now. Cool. Give you a few hours of coverage here before the final table tomorrow will be on pokego.com. But this show has already been great, and once again, the day one aspect of this live Total stream. Solver, that says call. A lot of flavor to this live stream. Is that you? <laughs> Lats go up every 40 minutes. Cool. Looks like we have some uh, limping business right now. That's right. Help me start it. Limping under the gun. Cool. Check. Cool. Five ways to the flop. Wow. If I can limp with King Point Sweet, I can Five limp with this. You know? Aces? Deuce, Queen, five Check. on the Check. flop. Now, help me limping with King Jack is one 14. thing. But why does he feel the need to bet here? With just King Jack High. He's just in zoom zoom mode, Dan. I mean, there's not really any rhyme or reason. Cool. I mean, I, I think it's probably fair that Ted Helmers can rep his image, right? I mean. Sorry, Roger. Can I see your. Thank you. Appreciate it. Shulman got the gut shot here to the six high straight. That four cool. would give Johnson two pairs, so could see some blood if that happens. Three players. Turn is the queen of hearts. Johnson now with a lock on his hand. Check. Shulman will not want to hit a four now. That would fill up Roger Johnson. Check. Check. Check it out. Action gets checked to the river. It is a four of clubs. Yikes. That's exactly what Shulman did not want to see. Roger Johnson hits a full house, and he is first to act, and he only has 155K left. Now, Donnie, sizing-wise, what do you think Johnson should come with here? I think all Ten options seconds. are probably on the table. Oh, yeah. He does go for all of it. Wow, look It's at an that. over bet, but not, not something too crazy. Johnson moves all in. Can I get a count, please? Shulman asks for a count. No, no snap decisions here, Donnie. He's going to mull it over. Um, Thank you. Can 55. Only, can only imagine he has some experience playing against Johnson. Perhaps weighing whether Johnson could be doing this without value. Seems unlikely, Donnie. Why would he bluff into two Ten people seconds. on the river here? Poor Shulman has a straight, super strong hand. Decides to make the call. 
There it is. Johnson shows the full house. Nick Schulman. Here we go, Roger. Here we go. Donnie, it's almost like this fucking Helm you six set up Schulman there. By the way, this hand played never out. Lost the hand. Yeah, I mean, if he just comes in with a raise, the hand probably plays out way differently. You started the day before when you called a raise with King Nine. And you the one that left. If you didn't limp, I wouldn't have been in. All I had was King Jack. King Jack was a very loose limp for me. It's tough when the That's sucker busted. limps in. We all got to, you yeah. know what I mean? He's nine? He's six. <laughs> Too good of a price. The uh, chirpy nature of the table might. He broke the rule, Nick. You never go broke in a limp step pot. in the right direction. I know. For us spectators. <laughs> you got to know, bro. I know. <laughs> I know you know. <laughs> you hit the straight. What's he going to do? I didn't feel very good on the end, but. <clears throat> but he also didn't go broke. So. Raise 22. Right. No, if that's 50, you're going to raise it, actually. <laughs> 155. A couple of queens for Wiseman. Yeah, I'm sure Why you would have folded, Phil. But you're better in those spots. Than me. That's your type of spot, by the way. You're probably the best ever at, at that sort of spot. I am good at that spot, but I don't Definitely. know if I could have folded there. Yeah, I hear you, but that's that's really where you shine. He could have ace three. That's, a, that's the thing, you know. Yeah. He could have the ace three. That's what I was thinking. Look at this top set for Wiseman. Tell me, with the gut shot to the straight. Check. Seven of hearts 30. on the turn. Tell me quick with the bet here. Toss it out 30,000. Adds a few outs here for a straight. Wiseman just comes with the call. Big important river card coming up here. There's the three of hearts. Tell me does not get there. 50? 50,000. 50,000. Ah, I missed. No worries, Roger. No, nothing. Uh, no apology necessary at all, of course. Do you think Wiseman made the most nice this way? Yeah, I mean, maybe Phil Hall's one on the flop. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I mean, on the river? Phil can kind of overfold the time, so. Got to fill the bluff two streets. Can't hate it, right? Exactly. Stacks are still. Fairly deep at this stage of the tournament. Sure to stack now, John, a little with 18 big blinds. The rest all above 40. So we do have some opportunities to see some post flop play here as Shulman makes it 20K and Helmuth comes along. Excuse me, Johnson makes it 20K. Here comes John, a little with ace nine off. Two quick tosses and little gets to rake this one in without showdown. Much love to everyone in the chat. Got a good crowd today. Of course, everyone here for Helmuth and Shulman being in the mix certainly won't hurt. If you enjoy the coverage, please hit that like button. Let's get us up to 500 likes on today's video. That'd be greatly appreciated. Please know that the on-demand final table of today's final table event number three is available on Pokego.com right now. So I almost re -raised Roger. go check that out when you have a chance. Yeah, totally. I thought Roger might have ace four off shooter. You believe this fucking guy, Roger? <laughs> you're giving me a lot of credit, isn't you? <laughs> Roger, I have 25,000 under your left. 24? Okay, thank you. Nice 24. He is. You think he looked this time? He doesn't have to look, Tommy. He's still helping. Bison's <laughs> got a very defendable. King 10 from the big line. 10 seconds. Pro. There is the call. 
Why not? Up, left it off two last time. I'm saying. A six, A two hearts. Thirty. Oh, Thirty. Hits a heart. Continues right away. I mean, say what you will. He's living up to the. I guess the style he's proclaimed to be playing tonight. I think fast. Well, he didn't finish because of weather, but I think he's one under through. I don't know. Yeah, okay, he's doing his thing. He looks decent for sure. <clears throat> no, I got to give Roger credit. He played really well yesterday. Was he lucky against me? Sure. But played well. Roger well done yesterday, Roger. Loving it. Thank you. Absolutely loving it. I just kept waiting. Thanks for the thing. Ever well, since you king nine me that day one, I'm like. Thing, thank you for your uh, exit. That was very entertaining. <laughs> Raised 20,000. Six. He said he couldn't sleep till eight in the morning, <laughs> Roger. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty fucking mad. I can There's tell you that much. Well, you really shouldn't have said that. You got him two in a row. You, you people wow. never lose your fucking. You never learn the lesson. Don't poke the fucking bear. <laughs> now you're gonna get it in dead. You're gonna have like ace king, and I'm gonna show you aces, and you're gonna be like, well, I had to win. Three really big blinds against Phil. Don't poke the fucking bear. You guys, you guys just can't I'll help yourself. It's fucking, it's, it's fucking rhythmical and funny. You know how condescending that is, you guys? Like you're not your own man, you know? <laughs> what, what does that mean, you guys? <laughs> At least he didn't say you people. It's true. You fucking people. <laughs> Never like, learn you, not you to poke the bear. Yeah, you gotta chill with that one. <laughs> never, 24, never learn to poke the 24. bear, and then you're surprised later when I get what angry and start taking people out. Just have fun playing poker, that's the main, that's the main. You wanna I'm flip, like working you know? with a 65% V-pip here. I mean, he's just, he's just firing in the races pre-flop. He's just trying to qualify for that Hustler Casino cash game. Action over to shore, big blind. can't help themselves, they always have to poke the bear. It's, it's just weird to me. Like, All he said was that he would that he wants to stack you. It's a tournament. That's not exactly what he said. What do you mean? He said, get some more chips or lose some chips so I could stack you because right. you have yeah, more chips than him. That's what he said, yes. But yeah. you have more than him. He can't stack you if you have more. It didn't seem that bad from, from my vantage point, Phil. You didn't ask me, though. I'm Phil Hellmuth. <laughs> right? I'm Phil Hellmuth, and we got a guy who got lucky two days in a row and, like, he's like, Proclaiming he's going to get me the third day? He didn't say he's going to. He just said he wants to. <laughs> Very ever busted, disrespectful. You, be careful as you muck your cards. I could have maybe seen one. You ever okay. busted three days in a row by the same guy? No. <laughs> Here, how quick he said that? For the record book, right? You shouldn't have said I that. Do, I do. Did you hear how quick he said <laughs> that? <laughs> I did play the main event one year. Oh, and Lord. Good. Every oh, pot, Lord, do it. And then they drew me to the same table with the same guy. It was oh, unbelievable. It had to be 100 to 1. Did he get you? Yeah, he got in with 8s against 10s. Couldn't help himself. He an 8 on the river. Dylan Wiseman here. Ace, queen, went clubs. sailing out of the room. And Johnson looks to be <laughs> defending him from the big blind. Cool. No, just telling me it has an old hat on. 16. Oh, wow. Are you nervous at all that it could happen? No, three in a row? That is shameful. Shame a brace up behind. I see you right there. Really? 16. It sure seems like you do. Johnson. I know, don't give a fuck Wiseman. when I see it. How many hands have I played, Nick, in the last three rounds? Like half of them? But that's your game. That's you trying to win. No. In my game, you know you played with me 100 times. I win by super tight. Tonight, I'm going to win by somebody making mistakes. I love that. But it could be me. <laughs> Fair enough. I so acknowledge. You got... I can acknowledge it could be me. Nick. I like that, though, Phil. I'm going to raise, like, the third one in a row. They're going to move in, and I'm going to say, of course, I have ace king. What Certain do you think I have? 15K on the flop from Wiseman, called by Johnson, and now Wiseman. Oh shit, I forgot to promote. Getting a little look. What do they pay me all this money for? A little peek. Gotta promote. 
Nick, you gotta promote the studio. So I know you're not scared to do that, my man. Promote, promote, promote. 80,000. 80,000 is the bet as Wiseman bets. Hello, Jonathan Little. How are you, my man? Flush draw, straight right. draw. He got, even has uh, an overcard. This. Really good player. Jesse, wave to the camera. What's going on? First, fourth, the guy gets there every day. Another great player, nice guy, Shannon. Roger the Dirt Farmer's been a little bit mean to me. Ten seconds. He poked, he poked the frickin' bear. Nick Shulman. Oh, how are you, my man? Nick's at, like, full power today, by the way. You guys are going to enjoy watching Roger, this screen. We have Nick at full power. Side. I'm going to show him what my white magic really looks like. <laughs> Watch us now, live, on the stream. Poker Go YouTube and Poker Go app. Hello. Tony, he's so not blind. a real hard you get for that, like 3 hundo cash? <laughs> yes, it, it was 6 12, 12. Why well, I want a piece of the studio, Nick. Excuse me. God damn. <laughs> Money moves. That's like big gangster moves. <laughs> so the answer is like 500. The answer is he has to pay to do it. No, no. He owns a piece of this. If when you're promoting your own shit, 26. that's different, man. I think this, I think the studio is, uh, I think we were offered. I guess we're 300 million now. Because we own all the rights to all the shows. Uh, yeah, you have to ask them, though. Just a little bit. Yeah. Help me again with the race. Ace, eight of hearts. Action pulls over to Shulman with 8-3 of spades in the big blinds. Good to see him come along. That'd be, has some potential here. I think maybe you should have let me have this up. one, Nick. But we'll see. We will. That looks like you're a flop. 30,000. King ten deuce, two spades. Spades for Shulman as Helmut continues with 30k. Cool. Turn Three. brings the eight, giving both players a pair. Helmut now with the. Oh, of course, Helmut with the best hand. He has mm -hmm. ace eight. 42. But 42. <coughs> Shulman with a pair and a flush draw. Likely to come along. And now we got some real fireworks yeah. here. And cool. the 126 bet is called instantly. Shulman and Helmuth going head to head. Helmuth with the best of it here so far, but Shulman with pair and flush draw with outs and also perhaps the option to do something big on the river here. It is the six of diamonds. If this goes check, check, we can see that it's Helmut's hand. But, Donnie, do you think Shulman has something up his sleeve here? Do you think he has a contingency plan in case this check raise on the turn got called? I think he's capable of coming with it. Check, check. Oh, he does give up. Helmut does show the ace eight of hearts. And Shulman sees another chunk of his stack. Go missing here as Helmut stacks him up. Wow. And the chat goes wild. Probably would have worked if he if he came with it, but ultimately took the showdown route. Do you think the uh, the quick call, the timing of the whole ordeal, made Schulman slow down? I actually thought I had eight and deuces. Kind of funny. <laughs> If that's true, that changes things, huh? Thought he had two pair? <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty big difference for sure. It's more fun. It's more fun if you move in on the river and I, and I find like uh, weird right. like call. I just like to give guys like you action.
seems only right, you know? And then if I snap Call the River, would I feel like a stupid if you're somehow in like Kings and Tats? Probably not. You would have called the river if you jailed? I don't know. Probably, I'd say man. For sure. Probably. I'm a little crazy. Like, just, I'm in instinct mode, man. He read it off my text. Yeah. I texted the guys. Crazy instinct. That's a crew of man. That crew must just so many, so many exclamation points. And you're the man. I saw that <laughs> chat. I don't think they say that very often. But that's good, kind of like to be in that. You know, in that world where everybody you imagine, reveres you. Imagine, you, you, can you know? imagine Mike Mattisau telling anybody that anybody else you're the man? <laughs> you might have a bad read there. I have it again, Jonathan. You should know what it is. It's the fifth time, fourth time. Play it. Good ball. Got three better. Not against Jonathan that time. Smart. can't just double him up. Unless I think he's light, then I'll just three raise him. I have to do my job and tweet this out, I guess. Hello, Jonathan. Little. How are you, my man? Happy to be. <laughs> Doing good. Help me there. Influencing, as always. The Golden Dragon himself. Promoting. Promoting. Promote, promote, promote. That's how you do it. That's how you build companies up to be worth $300 million. That's I didn't absolutely know you had it promote, in you, promote, promote. Well, I'm just not tweeting enough, Tony. You, That's you right. Must, you've been winning a lot of tournaments, so you must have the patience here. <laughs> Jesse Lonas so far. Very quiet. Lonas is usually the most active player at the table whenever he oh sits my down. God, this hand against this man in this spot. Oh. Shannon Shore, 24K. Helmy, quick I with the call here from the small man, blinds. But I will check to you, Shannon. Yeah, dark check. check. check, check, check. Classic Helmuth. King 9 8 here, rainbow. One spade out there. Open ender for sure. Helmuth's ace high, still out in front. Short check I'll back. Check again. <laughs> 10 on the turn, give a short pair of 10s. Helmley now has a straight job, but it's a little low end. Check. Seven on the river. Helmley gets a pair of sevens, but Shore straight comes home. Gotta imagine Shore won't be checking again. Let's see what sort of sizing he wants to come with. And Ultimately, what Helmuth wants to do. Ah, oh, shit. I would have called, called. Raise it some point on there. <laughs> Shannon Shore approaching half a million in chips. Helmuth hovering just above 600,000. If you're just tuning into the show for the first time, I see lots of new faces in the chat. Please know that this is day one. We are rapidly approaching the money bubble in this event. Final 12 will get paid at least 20K. We are down to roughly 23 players right now. Could be a fun one here. A couple of pairs so far. Mm -hmm. And Shannon Shore kicking it up a notch, going to up to 80,000. Wiseman's got ace jack suited. Lonas already proclaimed to have all the gears. Let's see which gear he's in right now as 
Wiseman gives up the ace jack of diamonds. I mean, Jesse Lonis definitely has all the gears. And he decides to play it careful and toss his sevens into the muck. Shannon Shore not known for much shenanigans at the table, Donnie. Lonis waiting for a better spot. Yeah, I mean, Shannon's a very good player, but under the gun and then under the gun plus one. Probably a lot of strength there from Shore's three bet. So both Wiseman with that H-Dex did also Lonis. Thinking better of it in that situation. Understandably so. Looks like we're getting somebody off the table, huh? Who are we kicking off? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Look. Sounds like Jonathan Little. <laughs> see you later, sir. Imagine what would have happened in, in the chat if Helmuth would have moved, been moved <laughs> off the table. How's the bet? Yeah. We'll say goodbye to the reigning Poker Go Cup champion, Jonathan Little. The head honcho over at PokerCoaching.com. <coughs> Nick Shulman has gotten a little quiet over the last orbit or so. Can't really fault him for running into some unfortunate situations as he picks things back up here, or tries to at least, with ace-10 off, and Dylan Wiseman finds ace-king, so more trouble looming here for Mr. Shulman. A little bit surprised to see how many put the eight-seven of spades there into the muck. Not that it's, you know, not something that you can fold in that situation, but just how he's been playing. He's been zoom-zooming, right? Like, I just oh, thought yeah. he would just see suited connectors and just put it in, you know, just quick a call and, <laughs> you know. But yeah. <laughs> Action back over to Shulman. Call. Call announced. Could end up getting All right. tricky for Shulman, depending on how this comes out here on the flop. Of course, an ace high flop would probably be disaster for him. Queen nine deuce. Two arts. Now how how much of an opportunity does Shulman see here, Donnie, given the fact that he holds the ace of hearts? Yeah, could definitely have some opportunity here. I mean there's also some opportunity for Wiseman to continue here being that pre flop three better. He has the King of Hearts in his hand. Weissman starts things off with a check. Now, if you're Shulman, are you supposed to take that initiative right away? <coughs> or are, is it okay to take a free card? 45. I was going to say, I think you can go either way. Fairly small sizing from Shulman here. Yeah, isn't that setting him up almost exactly for what looks like a turn shove and as far as the sizing goes? And Wiseman gives up the ace king rather quickly here. Yeah, Wiseman obviously reading into the fact that that type of flop likely connecting with Shulman's Roger. range a little bit more and he Free just tournament. got out of the way before anything else happened. Well, nice pickup for Shulman here. Second today? I hope that fires him back up for some more chatter. That's great. <laughs> Just don't poke the fucking golden dragon. Golden dragon? Yes, the golden dragon is back, baby. Everyone at home, it's time to it's time to drink. I mean, this <laughs> if if you're playing <laughs> the Helmuth bingo. Never poke the golden dragon. The golden dragon is hold back. Us, uh, service. The year of the dragon. <laughs> Could you imagine poking a dragon? You wouldn't even be able to get close to poke a dragon. The year of the dragon, Phil. I'm a dragon. Sierra the dragon, too. Yeah. Yeah. 
Donnie spam that chat that with a that's golden so dragon sick. emoji. That's what squeezing <laughs> guts you, buddy. If you're a member of our YouTube community, <laughs> you get access to unique emojis such as that one. The other one, the I can't ace stop is the tie. No, I knew we, it wasn't. We got Helmuth emojis that and Showman true. emojis also. I Man, we got it all for this this occasion. <laughs> yeah, another good read by you. Must have known I was squeezing. I believed in my bones. I had eights up and the spades. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. I believe I in my bones you were going to start messing with me. I know you did. I know. But, you know, we've played cash together, so we, you know what I mean? There's two types of players out there, players that have played cash with you and players that haven't. If you only knew the truth, you knew how far off you oh, were. Oh wow! I will I, say, I know, I know the, I know the, I know the, I know the truth here. when we you, played, buddy. When you and I played cash games in 2010, you were much better than me. Mm -hmm. At probably four of the games, maybe, maybe more. Now I've mastered every game, which is why I'm deep every fucking day. I just don't have time. I'm trying to make a billion dollars. I don't have time to go play two four. Mm -hmm. Twenty-eight. Wow! Wow! Well, help me No, I respect that. Some Showman are back to it. being a, a billionaire. If somebody wants to book me, then I'll have to go over there and no, no, we, we, a bunch of money. We, we know. I'll probably just get we, lucky. We know. We got a potential for a no, massive we, we one know. here. Chen Shore with a set right. of nines. You're right. Jesse Lowe's with a top pair. It's a backdoor draws. By the way, all I meant by that was that just... I, didn't, I, didn't, I wasn't saying anything about no, the no, results. No, but you said it's fair, though. Jack of Spades gives who have never seen you Lonis in game a straight draw as well. You know what I mean? They don't and know I, quite how... If you, uh, if you call Elia Lezra and ask him if he saw me win 30 times in a row playing 200-400, he'll tell you that's true. Pretty easy to confirm. What, what do you mean, once in your life you had that streak? Or what do you mean? Well, 30 in a row, and then I lost two of the last four. But I, I only risk 10k. Oh, you've been That's playing. Even more. You've been playing lately. No, no, I played. A, I played a cash game before the series last year. Okay. I lost 10k and quit. Somebody told me they'd give me a 50% uh, free roll if I stayed. <laughs> I still left. <laughs> oh, 50% for like they'd stake you and give you Correct. 50. Hot and cold. Wow. But you're trying to make a billion dollars, though, bro. Billionaire Boys Club. A Billy Roger. Not even, you know, not even two, three hundred million. A Billy. A cool B. Well, when you own a piece you of the company the that's worth three hundred million, the next stop is a billion. I mean, right? I mean, exactly. If you, knew, if you only knew the truth, Nick. I'm not saying I, I do. I mean, Big Pot continues to develop here. Not much room for us to speak. 23 companies, now it's 26. As Lonis called 120K from shore. You're an advisor to 26 companies? Correct. I've been All right. about this for 10 years. 400K in the middle. You tell me the same thing. Six of spades completes no, the board. Backdoor that. spades come in. All right. All right. Well, my bad. it was 24, but I just signed two more. Lonus checks. Yeah, I know. Thank Donnie, you. is this a Thank scary you. spade for sure, or the fact Nick that it's backdoor I, I told him still that gives him plenty of confidence to go for value here? Making investments. I, didn't say, I, I, didn't, I didn't say that. I know well, it's, it's hard to believe. I can certainly see Shore it. coming with this one. But I promise you, all of a sudden, I had an extra 200 minutes, <laughs> like out of thin air, because of an email today. You're right. I do think you're bullshitting. Fair. You're right. I'm not going to pretend I can show I you very quickly, though. I'm not going to pretend I don't. Yeah, that's fair. You got me. We're pretty deep in the tank here. All in. There it is. Oh, wow. There is that shove. Shen Shore moves all in, applying that pressure on Lonis, who is deciding for his tournament life. Donnie, am I correct to say that Lonis is no time bank chips? Check, but hard to believe. I just think you're using the word I don't see advisor any. liberally. Oh, boy. Really? Maybe they're behind his chips that we can't see, but... Correct. But you don't yeah, have day-to-day -day dealings no, with all of them. Who would have wow. the time? You know what I mean? I ten seconds means ten time. seconds. Every single one Jesse Lonis deciding for his tournament life with no time players, bank chips. Okay, ten now. Okay. Just kind of using my, uh, you know... But they have to believe that I... Time! His hand is dead! No, no, I got you. His hand is dead! I don't know where my things are. I had a bunch of them. Wait, what? What? His yeah, timing chips are missing? Are these ones? <laughs> no, those ones are yours. 
What is have, going on? Okay, he does. What? Where? <laughs> I mean, I use one right now. I'm gonna stop it while we're. No, you can keep it going. I don't know what we're supposed to do here. Did he forget to bring them from the other table? He, he did. He did move over late. What was your last seat, Jesse? Over at uh, table, the front table. This I've never seen this before. Let the floor sort this one out. This is absurd. Jesse Lonis forgot to bring his time bank chips. Is deciding for his what tournament you life. You're an advisor. Can you advise a spot for us, sir? And well, probably not. Yeah, you probably should keep yeah, the cloud going. Jesse's, Jesse's fit right with him. I've had, yeah, I had at least six of them. Yeah, of course you did. Yeah, yeah. Jesse Lone is not known for his slow play, so. I forgot my time extension because I know I had at least five or six of them. This is an absurd situation. I know I didn't use them all. Lone is. is and, and usually, like, when. Now you have to pause it. Like, if there's just time banks left on a table, they might just take them and, like, they put them away. Because the clock's running at the same time. Yeah. I think we gave we already gave him a twenty second, but I would I don't know, but yeah, seems fair. Well, I would love to. Fairness. I know I had some. Talk, but talk it, to Shannon Shore about what's going on right now. Imagine the added stress of the decision when you're worried about how much time you have left while thinking about your tournament life while someone is trying to find your uh, timing chips. Table. I would uh, table probably table. say two, that at this think, point. Yeah. Shannon feels really good so about his hand and doesn't want Jesse's hand to be killed right. because he, the longer okay. he's thinking here, the longer you think your hand is good, obviously. So, Did Paul Campbell just say, I'm going to give you 40 seconds? I couldn't really tell what he said, but there's no time bank chips. By the way, if you don't believe me, chips. you have to ask Gary Katz. You know what? It's, it's not that I don't believe you. Be that quick. They'll say, yes, it's all true. It's more that I don't give a fuck. That's fair. <laughs> Jesse Lone is like in it. a tough spot here. Oh, he makes the call. It's over for Jesse Lonas. He's out. Shannon Shore rakes in an absolutely massive pot, is now up to almost a million <laughs> chips. And I'm not sure if the time extension chips being missing had any impact here on just Jesse Lonas' decision, Donnie. Was he thrown off yeah, I know his I thinking had, pattern or process? Thought, yeah. yeah, it might have just That's a weird spot. made him a little yeah, bit I'm more, more flustered with, thing. sure with things. Probably yeah, you got to just go by what... They sh what's on the table, but it's also so okay. fucked up. Okay. Jesse doesn't burn banks yeah, ever. Yeah, no, like, he sure. It's legit. He went live, but it's a weird spot. That was wow. I, I would, I, I would, I would, I would not rule. I would go the other way. I would say, I would say that I believe him. And I believe him 100 percent, but it's it's about if it's somebody you don't believe though. Three or four or five. Yeah, you're right. I, I think it's mostly just like, I think it's like table stakes kind of a thing, like what's on the table, like. Do you agree with Nick that it's, it's, it's not a bad? It's not a bad. I'm not arguing vociferously. I, I'm not. I, I think that's. Really I've never seen that happen. Have you? Literally, I've never I, seen that one I, in a spot yeah, yeah. like that. You I know where it's like. Literally facing. Like, facing I've it never all seen it facing all in on the river. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> facing all on the river. Yeah, I've seen it. Like, I've wait, seen it like in, in a normal banks? spot. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah, that's a pretty intense. Yeah, that one I've never seen. Protect your hand, protect your time bank cards. Is that, is that how this works? Weird, weird, weird one. I've never seen that before. Seen it, obviously, like people move and then realize, like, hey, we're, you know, in a normal yeah, juncture, yeah, 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 yeah. not on the river. I mean, you guys make a good point. I don't know. I, I, I believe, like, I mean, Jesse, you make a good point because a good, it, correct. Yeah. It's mostly just, like, in, on average, in general, in the studio, what are you supposed to do? Like, if this was day two of the 300K, I think you have to kill a hand, for example. Hmm. Uh, this is a very interesting situation. A six spot. That would be a tough way to go. I, I think, I, think no I would think. Your I hands would, dead. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is stone dead. When you figure it out, like, you get the 30 seconds I called it, I think that's a good ruling for that. Well, I would at least give him 10 seconds. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You can't just, I don't think you just kill the hand as ever. I don't think it's fair. But fairness doesn't always enter into the Iowa. Yeah. Poker does a good job of that. Uh, I think we do a good job with being fair on the rules. Oh, we're getting a little side taste here of some, what is it, Jefferson Airplane? Some <laughs> helmet music <laughs> coming through the headphones. That was an enormous pot, and that hap that it, it was the <laughs> it was wacky. <laughs> Biggest pot of the tournament so far. Absolutely crazy situation. Shannon Shore, the benef the beneficiary 
of this enormous clash as Jesse Lonis exits. And here is a reminder that a Texas Poker Open is Before coming to Champions yeah, Club Texas. Check it out right now, championsclubtexas.com. Book your stay. Use promo code PC24 for a discounted or? rate. This is a $3,000 buy-in, $2 million guaranteed main <laughs> event <laughs> in Houston, Texas, and also tons yeah. of side events and That's crazy cash games. I spoke to the lovely people at Champions Club today about some content yeah, stuff, really, and the they said that right. people are not going to believe how crazy the cash games he are here down in Houston. So if you have a chance river. to travel, you should uh, make it down to Houston. Well, you saw the dates on the screen. Go check it out. Yeah, that was good. I think yeah, I, I handled like that one. Let's, let's say day two is like super high roll call, and that spot happens. What would you, like, how would you rule that? Like, what, what should be the ruling in general? There, there is no general. I'm not even going to lock myself into this. Smart. Okay. Yeah, that was an absurd. But I would think. make the best ruling available. Okay, that's fair. I factor in a lot of stuff. Yeah, I mean, and Jesse is awesome. Like, I know everyone's based on play. I know who uses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, right now, you know the booth is talking about this, yeah. and the poker world is exactly. talking about no, this. Not, <laughs> and he sort of got dragged to the final table. I mean, it's an interesting table last night. Yeah, yeah, it is, of course. Yeah. Or like very it's impromptu. It's about to drive the, the table. Table. Yeah. Easy to happen. Sort of. For sure, for sure. I thought it was handled pretty well in the moment. I mean, never happened before in that situation. Paul Campbell's got to make a decision, you know, on the fly, on the spot, so... That's why he's one of the absolute best tournament directors in the world. You gonna write a book someday or what, Paul? <laughs> oh, oh wow! Javier's chips? Is that what it's, those are? It's uh, <laughs> it's snack o'clock here. Tell me, he's still probably on the keto diet, but can't pass <laughs> off on those Javier's <laughs> chips, Donnie. You know how it goes. I believe we were table two, no? Oh, I don't know. All right, we got Helmuth and Shulman still at the feature table. Shannon Shore is our new chip leader with 990K. The other two players also sitting pretty at this table. Hope you guys all enjoy our coverage here of day one of event four of the U.S. Poker Open. Daily coverage here from the Poker Go studio in Las Vegas. We've got a bunch more 10Ks to come. I guess we're going to 15K and then to 25K. So buy-ins are going up. You can watch the final table of event number three on PokerGo.com. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks Hello. on the commentary that aired earlier today. I did just drop 20 memberships in the chat. Just, you know, yeah. a little lull in the action. Why not? I was going to say, Donnie, explain yourself. I mean... Uh, I just gifted 20 YouTube community memberships, mostly because I want people to use more Golden Dragon emojis. <laughs> That's what I want. So right. if you if you were lucky, it, it randomizes, by the way. I, di I didn't pick the names. It randomizes who got them. If you were lucky enough to get one, or if you're already a part of the rail, then just hit that little emoji button, click the Golden Dragon. Phil Hanway, look, he's dancing. I mean, <laughs> he's got the moves. Oh, the guy sure. is locked in. Phil's vibing right now, for real. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Yo. Look at this. Look at that. Man, he's about to get down. Look at him go. Really did Who'd win in a dance battle, Nick Shulman or Phil Helmuth? I really oh. did think I had eight some deuce. Helmuth, yeah. no doubt. Makes Here's a look at <laughs> the chip counts here uh, at the table as we get a new player yeah, then I just added back to the table yeah, after the Jesse Lonis elimination. So I think this... I mean, I was squeezing. I knew Confirms was that we are down to 21, Donnie, sure. perhaps on all three tables. Weird, Ray, is, you know. But, it, but yeah. actually versus I believe so. Like genius, oh, yeah, there it is. Like Golden Dragons like galore. Any eight with a flush draw. I believe we're getting at least Cheris Andrews. We'll see who else mm. joins the mix. Mm. Yeah, my hand made sense. 12 players oh, okay. will get paid in this event. If you enjoy the coverage here late at night from Las Vegas, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Turn on the post notifications and make sure you don't miss any of the action. We have tons of content being released every single week on our YouTube channel. I appreciate you. We're still on the stream, by the way. They got I like the rules, Paul. You know that. Be careful, Dave. <laughs> T tomorrow, Donnie, we're releasing a <laughs> is that Bucky? A, sp a special episode yes. that we many people probably haven't seen yet. Yeah. 
the 2020 main event. Ooh. I think a lot of people skipped that. I mean, understandably so. People yeah. probably didn't even know it was happening. Exactly. Right? So that's a little, little bit of a, like a, you ever watch like those mic'd up from the NFL and oh, stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little, little bit of a kind of a moment like that you, from Shulman sure. right there because he was like, hey, guys, you know, I'm still mic'd up here. Don't don't say anything too crazy. You know, he warned, warned, his, yeah. warned his table. Smart man. Don't want anyone to incriminate themselves here. Get, <laughs> get canceled, anything crazy. Yeah, Donnie. How, how does that feel? What? When you get caught on a hot mic. I mean, <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, we do have Cherish Andrews joining us on stream as well as Mr. Wandman here, better known as Bucky. Yeah, Wandman and Shulman are good friends, so maybe there's a little lively atmosphere there. I mean, Shulman, er, sorry, Helmuth is, look at him. He's just. How does he not win this tournament? Like he's on Molly. I mean, he's just <laughs> swaying back and forth. Just absolutely feeling it over there. Have you ever played with Bucky, Phil? Huh? Have you played with Bucky before? I, I assume, but I just a, a little run, a little rundown on him, or. <laughs> we played a fight yesterday. The rude boy, wag wag. I trapped you yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> you trapped him yesterday. Yeah, wow, so Ray's. You, so you, I yeah. smooth called the face queen. He moved in with yeah. the king queen, and I snapped it. I had a feeling you were up to something, too. Yeah. I know that I, feeling I know with him, but. <laughs> I'm like, you're trapping me? He's like, nope, just ace queen. I'm like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm gonna Daniel get was making fun of involved right away here. Queen eight of spades. All overplay eight. King queen. They all yes. love that hand. No, and he was overwatching that hand. Like so Daniel and I are like, oh, he's texting me. But I busted somebody the same exact same spot the day before. I smooth called with ace queen and moved him with king queen. I didn't get lucky it held up. Yeah, but. No one uses the phrase smooth call more than Phil Hamid does. Yeah, I always wonder. Ten times a stream, he says it. It's very uh, true. What's the other version of calling, Donnie? <laughs> Can you uh, please? Trapping is good. <laughs> you, you know is there a rough call? I mean, smooth. The opposite would be rough. I mean, you know. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> I believe that. I'm Only not. The alpha uh, male stance. I can't do that one with you right now, Phil. It's just there's so many. I'm just. Uh, I'm just. I have a story about it. You, 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 really, you, you, really, story? you really froze me in my tracks with that one. You want to hear my story? Sure. Shannon <laughs> okay, sure can't story. contain Go himself. Ahead, so I'm in Miami hosting A Rod's event. All right. All right. <laughs> of course, A Rod. And afterwards, afterwards you go to Mansion, the club. Go ahead. You know Mansion, right? I don't know why I'm standing. Yeah, no, not really. <laughs> but you've heard of Mansion, right? Honestly, no. Okay. But it's a club. Go to Mansion. This right. gets more braggy. Are you ready? I've been to well. Mansion. So now I'm dropped off by the limo at the front door. I get out, and the guy says, MJ, you guys are like, Phil. Like, he knows me. Who, who do, Michael Jordan? Yeah. He said MJ. Yeah, that's a, you want to hear the story or not? <laughs> sure, hang on a second. No, Bucky's gone. He never has anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> go, go ahead. Oh my okay, God. so <laughs> just kidding, you can't. Well, the only chance I had of getting was all this, this story, <laughs> only <laughs> alpha males <laughs> dance. Okay, go ahead. Hang on, you're, okay, at, okay. you're at Mansion, okay. and MJ says, "What's up, Phil?" You know, that's what he was waiting for. You want me to finish the story, or you want to tell it? I'm sorry. <laughs> I get out of the car, and the guy, the security. This is, I wasn't that well known. This guy's at the, at the. But my biggest fans are like the bouncers. I don't mean to interrupt. But when was this? Mm, had to be oh, 08 or something. Okay, a while right. back. A while back. It's like MJ's in the back. So I walk back, I text A-Rod, MJ's here. And A-Rod's pissed off. He's like, he told me he was coming to my event 99%. So I go back and MJ's dancing. And I'm dancing next to him. Hold the fields in the booth, all these, some of the world's biggest celebrities in 07, 08. Mm -hmm. And we're dancing. And I look at MJ and I say, hey, you're the greatest basketball player. And he puts a hand up. Stop talking. I said, no, no, let me finish. You're the greatest basketball player of all time, but you have six world championships. I have nine, bitch. Now that's a high five. And we were both dancing, alpha males dance. So I got a lot of bragging in on that story. That was a real run around to, that didn't explain that only alpha males dance. <laughs> that was Holyfield just a classic. Holyfield was dancing, MJ was dancing, I was dancing. 
tight fold for your rude boy on the story. You know? I'm just warning you, I'm in like wow. super fast mode, so I might just raise you with king five. Oh my god. But I'm never folding, so I'll just tell you that. So. Hmm. Bucky likes believe, to dance. I can't believe Will I get paid for this. Me if I, really <laughs> I mean, <laughs> 80,000. I don't think he's going to believe me. What is going Would on? Would I believe me in this spot after threatening to do it? I almost forget that I'm here no. to do commentary. I'm just so locked into listening to these stories. This is unbelievable. Uh, meanwhile, we got some poker being played. Wantman with the raise, Helmut with the three bet. You, know, you, you, you tell a story about dancing with MJ, and Holyfield is in the picture, and all of a sudden, King Seven of Diamonds looks like aces. And uh, there it is. It works. I told you folks at home, I'm in hyper fast mode. So you're going to see a lot more of that fucking crazy bullshit. One of these guys looks weak. I'm fucking repopping it. I promise. I might even have the best hand against you. I show you. Show. What do you show? Oh, you had me. <laughs> <laughs> you have diamonds? <laughs> of course you had me. Oh my God. I had two spades, and bro, that wasn't in your hand. Good fold. Regardless, of course, yeah. only alpha males uh, <laughs> dance. Only alpha males three bet with like king seven and king deuce on like king five, eight deuce. That is some alpha. That's alpha male shit. <laughs> right. I told you on the broadcast once. Apex predator shit. That, I like that. I'd never like that heard. Line? I'd never heard that term like before. That line? I, I did enjoy that. You're like a really smart guy. You never heard of Apex Predator. No, I looked it up and then I saw, you know. You saw, here goes Phil talking about some crazy shit again. Oh, no, I could tell it was Roger a and I, oh my God, I'm so happy. How much do you have, Roger? This, this is my mistake. I keep calling you with these really big hands. Oh, let's see. There's, there's still someone to act in the big yeah, blind, Phil. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Amazing. It's hard to believe I would have it. This hand. Action now on Cherish Andrews. We haven't even play. had a chance to introduce Cherish to the table. It's just been all Helmuth the whole time. Look the, look the shit of decision. Oh, King Seven. You owe a time bank, Phil. Really? That's what she said. Fuck. Believe her. <laughs> you know I have it, Roger. 80k you to can't go. Roger Johnson making the call. You don't know what it is, right? You never dead on the flop before the flop, Phil. Yeah. Right? King 10 10 Johnson 40. flopping top pair. Only betting 40k. These guys have a lot of history, Donnie. They play cash games together as well. Very fun I'll take dynamics. It right now. Yeah, I mean, earlier, Roger Johnson declared that he wanted to bust. Phil Helmuth once again here at the U.S. Poker Open. Because you did so last night. How much do you have left, Roger? 250? Johnson still out in front here. Helmuth checks. River card. King of Hearts, full house now for Johnson. Helmuth playing the board. Yeah, we'll see if he Check. wants to take a stab at or if he's going to give up. The ladder is selected. Full house here for Johnson. How much are you going to go for, sir? Similar spot. I mean, he had a full house last time, kind of stacked similarly, and he overbet jammed against Shulman. Is he going to come with the overbet jam here? Or is he going to choose a smaller sizing? Definitely thinking it over. Smaller sizing <sighs> it is. Just relax, Phil. You finally had it. <laughs> and Roger called you. Come on. Now he might be making some goofy bluff. Just relax. We're going we're gonna to take Roger up. Oh, well, one time, Roger. One time. <laughs> <laughs> show it. Everyone wants see. him to show the bluff, but I mean, I, I don't oh. think he can. We're gonna have to wait. Shows the queen and the I queen only. <laughs> no, I had a, I had a pair. Wasn't good if he bet though, you know. But I 
Just relax. You know, no Roger's going to give you the money. Just like in the cash. It's coming. Played so good yesterday, Roger. I'd like to see where you put 80000 with that hand. <laughs> yeah, you're playing really good. No, yesterday played great. No, Robert. I just like providing positive affirmations. Yeah. Roger played great yesterday, but. He cannot help himself. But that's it. Yeah. Wantman's in there with the king eight of spades. He's going to run into this ace king for sure. It's been the Shannon Shore show as far as the poker play goes at this table. If, you, if you've missed it, it's worth skipping back maybe about 15 minutes. Big hand between Jesse Lonis and Shannon Shore. Shore now coming with three bet to 80k. Action quickly folding back around to Wantman. Let's it go, and Shore picks up this one as well. And that'll get him up to a million as even. As I was saying, only alpha males dance, Nick. How about that? <laughs> Let's get them dancing shoes on for us. <laughs> my mood is... My, huh? I've been threatening yeah. Roger for yeah, three days. I don't know. We can, right? Sure. Yeah, we can. He I've know, been threatening Roger for three days. But no one's ever made it three days before playing all those hands against me. All the alpha males dance. MJ, Phil, Hold Phil Helmy. <laughs> all the multi-time world champions, you know. You don't know I'm an alpha male? Alpha brain, yeah, that's right. Oh, well, Phil probably has some plug. <laughs> I plug. He wouldn't care if you drink that shit and just die on the spot. <laughs> Jesus, that's a no, little. I'm just kidding. No, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> that would be too much for you, right? It would have been a little better if you would have said got sick on the spot. Yeah, that was too you much to just dark. drop. That's a, a bad. Dark. That's a bad business model, though. You know, you drink, you drink <laughs> it and just die. <laughs> Roger, you're going to get what you deserve against me. I'm going to promise you that. Sure. That's all I'm going to say. No more talking. What are you doing re raise me with that? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Wantman gets that squeeze through. Well done by him. Bucky, did, Bucky what's Shows going on? Shows the three of hearts. <laughs> That's why I confirmed it. Yeah. You hear you, you get here, you're playing every hand. <laughs> I mean, I gotta fucking win one eventually. What's going on? <laughs> oh my god, when I start playing, when I start going crazy, they all they all crash into the wall. It's, a, it's, a it's all you. It all Bucky never does that. It's I all do, you I brainwashing do. Bucky. I do get people brainwashed. You, you hear that? that? You must know that. Actually, you probably don't even understand that. I don't play in those same tournaments you play in too often, you know what I mean? You mean World Series of Poker Tournaments? No, I do play in, I do play in those. Could I have a peppermint tea with some lemon, please? Thank you. Coming, Roger. You're going to be drawing completely dead. Yeah, promise you. If you called with king queen, then you had two overs and you had to look at a flop. Nice flop here, Shannon Shore. Flops of what flush. What do you mean? Don't I have five hundred thousand? Johnson, potentially in a bit of trouble here. Flopping he did have a little flash in the pan. He did have eight on though. What do you mean? I re-raised Nick with eight deuce, ten four. The third time he caught me. He caught me the third time. 15K nope. is the bet from Johnson. There's been a Johnson. lot of free betting from me today. Perhaps, uh... You weren't free betting with some bullshit after you made a comment about how you're going to free bet me with some bullshit. It wasn't that bad. I had king seven of diamonds against oh. you. Oh, I'm going to do it to you twice more, and then you're going to get what sick of it. What do you do if I go 200 there? You just block me all right? Maybe we well, could then. start a little mix game later, though. 
Hello. <laughs> Chan Shore making it 87,000 to go. But I have to get booked. You can't choose yeah, the line. I, 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 know, I, know too, I know they're too far. It's too small for you, Philly. It's I know. not that. I get it. You're trying to make a billion dollars. <laughs> I understand. Chan Shore no, takes I want to punish the doubters. No showdown. I missed my point. I see. I did Come miss your point. Sudden, I did miss your point. All of a sudden, we're like, oh, what the fuck happened? By the way, that book, that book, can, be, that book can be arranged, just so you know. You have my word on that. So... Just call me. But I get to choose. But I get to come. You could pick I, the mix. No, I, no, no. I come in. But no, but I get to come play whenever I want in that room. I mean, I don't know about like that room. But if you want to play two four thousand and get booked, you uh, it can be arranged. Just holler yeah. at your boy. Okay. I got you. You got it. Put that on the stream. Donnie. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Booking uh, Phil in two four thousand mix games. I'm going to go punish these guys. I mean, they used to be better than me in 2012. They have no idea. Actually, a lot of the great players have figured it out. It's just been nonstop for the last 90 minutes. <laughs> just the <a> table <laughs> you talk. You can't ask, like, uh, Rude Boy. I got, like, 400, 400-ish. Uh, I show him, by the way, here with the raise. Ace-jack of spades. Swanman on the button. It's going to come along with the 9-8 of diamonds. Shannon Shore, getting a nice little price here. Against you, I had king seven. Against Roger, I did have a pair. Of course, I have to show Roger the nuts. <laughs> Donnie Fu Johnson here. Looks is this rather, a home game? Rather appealing. <laughs> what is this, Phil's Family pop, baby, let's go. Game? I think I might have had a little more caller if this is my home game. You're right. Here's a flop 10, 8, 4, rainbow. Or maybe we've got three back. Pair of eights for Walman, backdoor spades for Shulman. Action gets checked around, arriving on the turn. Wantman's chances continue to increase here. Pair and a straight draw as no one else is looking to take a stab at this. Shulman checks behind. Four-way to the river we go. Unless, of course, Wantman decides to bet here in position. Excuse me there. Walman does bet. Tossing 40k out there. Fifteen minute break. Action on Shannon Shore with pocket sixes. He lets it go. And the rest of the players quickly out of the way as well. So no river card necessary here as Walman takes it down. Three nice sevens. Way to chip up here. Wow. Oh, oh no. Okay. You got me, rude boy. All right. Woman up to 650, and Did we are know? going really? on a short break. Color up. Blinds will go up. Hope to see you again at the end of this break. We'll be back in about 10 ish minutes. See you in a bit. Stay tuned for more. To hold up. Boya trying to get this event down to the final four. All right, here comes the flop. King, eight, seven, and Masashi Oya takes the lead with a pair of sevens. Bad news for Cohen, who's looking for an ace and an ace only, or potentially some backdoor cards to make a straight. Otherwise, he will be our fifth place finisher. Turn card. 
the Jack of Spades that reduces his outs to just three on the river. Jonathan Cohen from Canada. River card, seven of spades, and that'll do it. Jonathan Cohen was one card away from sending Bonomo to the rail and doubling through Daniel Negreanu, but a five on the river gave Justin Bonomo a straight. And just two hands later, he finds himself on the rail, and we are down to the final four players. All right, how many hands? How many hands? Really was a, you know, a great showing from three. Jonathan Cohen. I know ultimately didn't work out in his favor, but... Didn't have a lot of chips to work with for, for this final table, but did the best he could and just got unlucky in the end. What are you going to do? That's tournament enough, poker. Wow. Make the call. Bono makes the call and is dominated wow. by Oya. <laughs> Worst case scenario for Bonomo, who was hoping for two live cards at the very least. Oya has the upper hand here with A6 versus King 6. Bonomo looking for a king to stay alive. Here comes the flop. Queen, queen, nine on the flop. Two clubs. Clubs not in play here. Yeah, let's just chop it out. Nine, nine, okay? No. Bonomo looking for a way out. Six, six. He needs some help. Queen on the turn. Is not going to make any difference here. Bonomo still looking for 26. a king. River card is the four of diamonds. And that is it for Justin Bonomo. Quite the roller coaster for him at this final table. He departs in fourth place. Bonomo collects a bunch of points in his race to make the top 40 of the PGT Championship standings. Tonight, however, he collects forty. Uh, excuse me, ninety-one thousand dollars. <laughs> wow! Couple of jacks. Monster pair here for the German and Couple oh yeah, of sixes. Sixes, yeah. A little trappy trap as well from Smilkovic, who's been very aggressive leading up to this point. Sort of surprised to see him limp here. And oh yeah, feels the same way. By the way, look at that bling on the wrist there. Is that a Rolex? Looked very nice. A little double check here from Smilkovic. How big is this re-raise going to be? For some reason, I always feel like this approach signals strength. Like, why would you be messing around in this spot, given... The ground is stack size. Sure, but if you know, we, we've seen him mess around. And, True. and Masashi knows he can mess around. He, he format earlier and snap folded, right, when Masashi jammed on him. So Masashi is probably aware that, yeah, he, he doesn't necessarily have to have a premium here. Hands that Masashi does well against that Smilkovic could take the line with here, similar to this, ace-5 suited, ace-4 suited, stuff like that. Masashi's got a good hand to go up against those. Burning some clock himself, trying to decide, is this going to be the one? Can I call here in position? Given the, the relatively small wow. free, free raise here, I mean, I was going to say, Masashi could certainly call because these two are deep enough. Meanwhile, Negranu off camera, probably rubbing his hands together. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you know, just play a 9 million chip pot, guys. <laughs> go, go nuts. Yeah, just I'll just watch. No big deal. I'll take the page up and the points. Here comes the flop. Big flop incoming. Wow. Four, five, seven. Open and it's straight draw for Oya. Over pair for Smilkovic. Two million in the middle. Woo. This yeah, could get like really this big. This goes in here. It's 400,000. Yeah, comes small. 20%. Yeah, very small here from Smilkovic. Is this almost too small, Donnie, to jam on this? How strong is it going to look if he makes it whatever? 900 or a million? Oh, wow. He shoves. Snap call by Smilkovic. $9 million, Donnie. You predicted this. All the money is in the middle. Can I get a shot of Daniel Negreanu? There it is. <laughs> he is stoic, but he is loving this. Whatever happens, either we're down to heads up or 
We're three-handed with Smilkovich down to 375k. Masashi Oya has 10 outs twice here to hit a set or a straight. And to rake in an absolutely massive double up and grab an enormous heads up chip lead. Ace of spades on the turn. That is not going to do it. Oya needs to hit or else he will be eliminated. Smilkovich still in the lead with his pair of jacks. River card is the jack of spades adding insult to injury. A set on the river for Smilkovic. We're just going to verify these stacks here, but it seems as though Daniel Negreanu is now heads up with Daniel Smilkovic. You're going to limp call here on the button with the queen eight off. Shmilkovich has the four deuce off. Off to a flop we go. More than a million in there. King nine four. Two hearts. Shmilkovich checking his bottom pair. Negroni checks back. Queen on the turn. That puts Daniel Negreanu back out in front. He's got the better pair, pair of queens. Another check here from Smilkovic. Another check back from Negreanu. King pairs the board on the river. Negreanu's hand is best as long as he doesn't fold here. Sizable seven-figure pot out there for the taking. Is Negreanu going to go for some value here? Looks like he is. 450 is the bet. About 40% pot here from Daniel. Shmilkovic is going to pay it off. And here we go. Daniel Negreanu takes the chip lead. Heads up. Wow. Against Daniel Shmilkovic. About 40% of the chips in play. So things haven't been going his way in these, these most recent hands. But... <coughs> you know, it's kind of just the ups and downs of tournament poker. Shmilkovich certainly now out, not out of it in the slightest. But Daniel here. Oh, my God. Ace, king, on the button. What more can you wish for in tournament play than to pick up a monster right after having taken the lead here during the heads-up portion of the tournament? And Jack-Jack-10 rolls off the deck. And Negreanu limped in on the button pre-flop. Shmilkovic checked the jack-deuce. Wow. Shmilkovic smashes this flop. Perhaps Negreanu saving grace here that he only has a gut shot at, at this point. And Negreanu betting here, but likely going to call a check raise. Got enough of a hand here to be able to continue with this one. His hand could also just be good, right? You know, there are some hands that Shmilkovic might just be betting. Maybe Daniel thinks there's a chance that, you know, the ace or the king are good as well. A queen, of course, would seal it here for Negreanu. There's still, of course, the outside chance that Smilkovich could have hit a full house in that case. But at this point of the hand... A queen is the only card that can save Negreanu. See what sort of sizing Shmilkovich wants to come with here. Going 
going a little bit larger here. Looks like 1.3. 1 1.3. Does Negrano still think that his hand can be strong here? Yeah, I mean, th there are some, some hands in Shmilkovich's range where he's going to check raise that include, you know, backdoor clubs that can tur turn some ad additional equity, right? Negron was seriously considering something here, facing a bet of 1.3 million. Not too long ago, Negron was down to just a few big blinds. Now all of a sudden, contemplating playing an enormous pot here. And we can see that he only has four outs against the trips of his opponent. Right. Negron, oh wow, he moves all in. Yep. Smilkovic snaps it off, a queen. and Daniel Legrandu looking for a queen and a queen only to win this one. If the queen doesn't come, Smilkovic will have a massive chip lead, and all of a sudden, the roles will reverse. Four outs for Kit Poker to seal the deal here. Only 9% chance, though. Massive long shot for Negranu. To take this one down. River card. Ooh. Is a queen! Oh, oh there it I knew, is! I, win this one. I, got, I felt it. Lucky, it. Lucky year. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. I don't know what I'm doing on the turn. He said, fuck it. <laughs> if you got a jack, take my buddy. Yeah. I win. Cool. Nice. So I, yeah, first time I won the first tournament of the year in my life. It's cool. It's fun. Okay, what now? Give me some money. All right. <laughs> wow, Daniel Legrano closes it out. In style, if you want to call it that, Binks, the queen on the river. What an absolutely epic way to close this thing out. What an awesome final table this was. My name is Rem Karinka. My Donnie Peters alongside me. We'll be back with more action tomorrow from the PGT Last Chance here at the Pococo Studio in Las Vegas. What an awesome night it has been. Thank you all so much for watching. Congrats to Daniel Legrano. We'll see you guys tomorrow. One player that we certainly don't think is going to back down at all. Masashi Oya, I think he's just going to be out there firing away with this chip lead. Really put the pressure on his opponents. Here he's coming in with a raise from the cutoff seat. Earlier in this hand, you saw Isaac Haxton fold under the gun ace-8 off, where if Haxton has the chip stack that Masashi does, maybe Haxton comes in with a raise there, right? But here, you know, Haxton's going to take the conservative approach. Bonomo electing to call King Seven of Hearts out of the small blind. Now it's on Daniel. No need to get too crazy for Negranu. Comes along as well. Three way action here to the flop. Both blinds involved. Wow, look at that. Ace King Four, top pair, and the nut flush draw for Negranu. Oh, yeah. The same top pair, same kicker, but does not have the flush draw. Also an interesting spot for Bonomo. Second pair against a very aggressive chip leader in late position. And Negranu can really have a pretty wide range there from the, the big blind. So Bonomo's got second pair with the backdoor nut flush draw. And of course, nothing strange about Oya continuing here. Playing against two players in the blinds, his A6 is going to be good quite a, go a good amount of the time. Like you said, Donnie, can't fault Bonomo either here for tagging along. <coughs> Interesting spot here now for Negranu. Just comes with the call. How do you feel about this, Donnie? Uh, I don't. I don't mind it. I mean, it's kind of a tricky spot. Yeah, of course you have. Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> oh my God! Ladies and gentlemen, turn up the volume. We might see some fireworks here as Bonomo rips off a third king. Both Negranu and Oya with an ace. Negranu not drawing dead. He still has the nut flush draw, and we could see the action get checked around here as. 
It is now on Oya with a six. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how aggressive Oya wants to be, but I, I would expect him to check here. I mean, his kicker is really nothing in this spot, so. Big river card coming up. It is the deuce of diamonds. Bonomo is going to get the check mark against two players with a pair of aces. Negrano's ha hand very much under repped. He's probably going to think that no one is going to give him credit for a hand this strong. Bonomo, perhaps, might have the others thinking that he's going to steal the pot here. Four fifty is the bet from Bonomo. It's a healthy bet here. Just, you know, I think Negroni might find a fold here. Yeah, that's about half his stack. Oh yeah, on the other hand, I mean, could pay this off here. I mean, very, very well done from Negranu. Calls one street, sees a free river cart, and just gets away from it that quickly. I'm impressed. Always hard when you're an aggressive player, when you're a you chip want to show it, What's the difference? Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Welcome back to the show. We're back they inside like the PokerGo studio. <laughs> Got a new feature table for you. You're as good at it. No, I mean, They didn't give David one. The rules <laughs> dictate. Last time the only two mics were me and the helmet. There's a lot of added pressure. <laughs> yeah. You, you kind of feel like you have to say a little something. <laughs> what, it's must too? And John. And a little. Wow. No mics on? Oh, you got a mic too? I guess I'm more fav famous than David. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Wilson with the mic, John Reardon with the mic. Words and you'll say four. <laughs> <laughs> they know I'm about to bust. They just want to hear me. <laughs> As I was saying, got to keep rotating those feature tables. And like right now, <laughs> we got David Peters, one of the biggest winners of all time, nah, leading the charge. Swapped out the get TV time. black Under Armour hoodie for the, the, the sort of the white, the off-white Columbia. Time. Wow, <laughs> I wonder if that's a gift from Haley, Donnie. It has seconds. to be. Sergio Ido from Spain, one of the crushers from Spain, raising it up to 30K. Peters with 10s in the small blind. 100, thanks. 100 seconds. Peters 3-betting to 100k, action back on Ido. Down to th three tables. 12 players will get paid. We're at 21 left right now. Cool. Ido makes the call in position. We'll go see a flop here. That's Blinds, by the way, up, are up to 10-15 with a 15k ante, playing 40-minute levels. Queen, seven, eight, two hearts on this flop. Ido out flopping Peters. By the way, if you're enjoying our coverage, the goal tonight is to get to 500 likes. We'd very much appreciate it if you could smash that like button. And also, if you could subscribe to the channel, it'd be very helpful. We are excited to bring you bonus coverage every night. Hopefully every night we get some sort of flavor of Negrano or Helmuth as those guys are both putting in the big hours here inside the studio. I know you guys all love to watch those guys play. Seventy-five K is the bet from Ido here on the flop after much deliberation. Don, if you're Peters here, you can't be just giving up on tens this quickly, right? Yeah, probably check call. Cool. Does come with that check call here. <laughs> Five on the turn, so Check. looks like Peter says two ninety five behind. Okay. 
Yes, it is. Peters does all come in? along, and Sergio Ida moves all in for 295. Big move here on the first hand back from break. Even if you're a non-believer, Donnie, pretty hard to pull the trigger here with 10s, I'm, I'm assuming. Yeah, hard to make this call. Aido, I think, can certainly take this line with hands like he has. Also, increasingly difficult or increasingly important to maneuver when you're this close to the money. Twelve spots pay. I think we're. I think there's 18 left right now. So. forced just to give it up there. All right, so Sergio Ido draws first blood here at the feature table, up to just shy of 800K. Ido has had his share of success in the USA. I wonder where Adrian Mateos is. Those guys usually come as a pair. Here's a look at the Global Poker offerings from April 8th until the 21st. You can compete from a, for a $5,000 prize package to fund a trip to Las Vegas. Play the U.S. Poker Open yourself on globalpoker.com. Check it out right now. Their daily events start at 5.30 p.m. Pacific, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. And uh, they have been absolutely massive. Donnie, I know you're keeping track there. Uh, how uh, How's today's event been on Global Poker? Yeah, today's... Sweeps coin event was a SC33 buy-in, $30,000, 30,000 sweeps coins, excuse me, guaranteed mystery bounty tournament. Race 35. First place is just under 3,000 sweeps coins. There is also one 3,000 sweeps coins bounty in the mystery bounty pool. There's a 2,200 sweeps coins one, so huge prizes to be won here. He's got this new way of acting now. He just tries to act erratically. Seems pretty fun that they just no, recently just nice implemented to mystery to bounty tournaments online. I mean, that's got to be a heck of a lot of fun. We all know how popular <laughs> mystery bounties have become. So, globalpoker.com if you want to play some. I'm decide. When I get in the hand, I'll, I'll go with what I feel. I think I'm just going to lay low for a bit. Let the game come to me. <laughs> With some helmet talk right there. <laughs> I'm going to lay low as well. You got everybody right where you want them. <laughs> Two jacks here for Brock Wilson on the race button. 35. Comes in with the race, 35,000. David Coleman comes along from the big blind, heads That's up it. here to a flop. 9-6-3, two clubs. Sounds like William Paradis is uh, playing on Global Poker. Says he's down to 50 players in the Knight Super 11 SC tourney. Let's go, oh, William. Let's go. Keep us posted. That's excellent. You better win now that you uh, you say that. Oxford, you asking what happened to Shulman and Helmuth? Well, we had to rotate tables in fairness of the game. Can't be having those guys on the stream the whole day. It's um, one of the things we have to do when we stream more than one, or an event with more than one table still in play. So we have 5K right We're always trying to show you, of course, as much of the superstars as we can. This is going to be my save and chip. Well, this table <laughs> so far proving to be quite entertaining with the playing styles of these players. Average age has gone quite down quite tremendously, switching these tables out. Wouldn't I wouldn't want to call them 
new kids on the block. They've all they've all had their share of success, but you know, compared to guys like Helmuth and Roger Johnson, even even someone like Nick Shulman, he's been around forever. Was it like 07 that he won his first World Poker Tour for like over a million? Uh, I don't remember the year exactly, but I do know that it was over two million. Two million. That is 35. So Oxwoods. So wild. Back in the day. Yeah, Nick Shulman to take over. Another big hand here for Brock Wilson. The brain, as Brent Hanks calls him. <laughs> Gonna be three betting this one for wow. sure. It was an 05. Was 05. How much did he win? 2.1 something? 2.1. Yep. How, like 05, Donnie? That's right after the poker boom. That's so insane. Also at the table, his final table, Cunningham, Bill Gazes, Min Win. Three bet as expected comes in from Wilson, ace king of diamonds. That's what he's working with here. Peters with the ace eight of spades. Peters thinks better of it, and Brock Wilson takes it down. If you're with us in the chat, please let us know where you're watching from. Love to hear how international a crowd is today. And then we are also rapidly approaching 500 likes, which is a good sign. Uh, Donnie, I did go out into the room during our break to watch Helmuth and Shulman on the outer table. And guess what? It has gone quiet. Everybody's locked in and focused. Cameras are off. They're not in the spotlight. Cam you know. Cameras are off. Nothing to prove. No show to be had. Wilson gets dealt the ace king of diamonds again. Back to back with this hand for, for Wilson. Another raise for him. He's had jacks, ace king of diamonds, and ace king of diamonds <laughs> these last three hands. Some suited connected action here for Sergio Aido. Nine eight of spades on the small blind. Or, sorry, Wilson has Jack eight of diamonds. They switched it up on me, man. Three bet from Aido. Wilson puts that hand into the muck. Apologies for that graphics still or a little error there. No big deal though. comes in with the raise. By the way, David Coleman, one of the most successful players on the PGT here in the early goings of 2024. Coleman currently second in the race for the overall championship. Dylan Wiseman, the only player to collect more points than Coleman so far. Coleman has seven caches, three wins, and has earned over $700,000 so far. You can check out those standings on pc.com slash leaderboard. Negrano currently in fourth. Kristen Foxen in fifth. Ten seconds. Today is 35. Ten 
a second. Ninety. Ten seconds. Quite a bit of tanking going on here before the flop as we see three players wake up with big hands and Sergio Ido makes a terrific fold here, tosses ace-queen into the muck before the flop. Coleman applying that pressure with ace-queen offsuit, making it 90k. Action folds all the way back around to the initial razor. John Reardon, and he moves all in for 245. Let's see if Coleman is going to make the call. He does. Reared an all-in for his tournament life with ace-king versus ace-queen. And Sergio Ido, the bearer of bad news, letting Coleman know that he folded ace-queen. Here comes the flop. 9-8-8, some chop options here for Coleman, who is wishing for it. Four spades. Keeps Coleman alive here. Nine or four for a chop. Queen for the win. And it's a six of diamonds. And King John Reardon gets himself a double up at the expense of David Coleman. Reardon joked earlier that he's probably the first to get eliminated today from this feature table. But he finds a nice double up. Breaks him in and looking healthy right now with his eyes on the money bubble. Coleman right after losing a chunk versus reared and now finds pocket aces he's probably crossing his fingers hoping people interpret this as perhaps a bit of tilt I know these guys are all top professionals but still And look at this, Donnie Wilson fighting back with King Queen offsuit. Can't really fault him here, right? No, you can't. I mean, he's going to get hit with it. Here from Coleman. We'll double check the cards there for Coleman. Jam. The expected jam. And a quick toss here from Wilson. <laughs> a little bit of a smile between these two. Wow, big have aces? Donnie, some lesser experienced players might think, well, why isn't Wilson just calling with King Queen to see a flop? Why is he <laughs> three betting and opening it back up for Coleman to make that's a move? The only hand that the only hand. I mean, I think it's fine to three bet there. You are blocking some good hands. The ace kings, ace queens of the world, stuff like that. Just take an aggressive line with it. You had 500 cat? I had four. Did you? Yeah. I went way too big. That's what I was thinking. That's why I didn't fold. Well, good. Good to know that that would, uh, you'd fold all hands that can't call a shove then. Maybe that was the best size. I just John. didn't think he'd want to go out on back to back hands. That was the first thing I caught the mind. I overcame that too. My walk. I didn't. 
jump a little back at the feature table. We're going to see it anyway. You really had nothing. Put another big. Fuck. It's going to be a fun one. Six five of spades for David Coleman. <laughs> Reared in with a raise here on the button, 35,000. Sergio Aida is going to call from the big line. Reared and cashed the first two events of this U.S. Poker Open Series, but both times he was the first player to bust once he got into the money. So two min caches for him during the USPO. Top pair here for Aido. He checks on over to Reardon. Check. Check again here. Deuce of spades on the turn. Aido's a seven, well in the lead here versus Reardon. Not a whole lot to fight for, though. Ten seconds. Forty-five. Either going for forty-five k. Reardon, sort of thinking it over here. Ten seconds. <laughs> Aces. Reardon lets it go, and Ido gets to take this one down. Rock Wilson here, Jack 10 offsuit. Race 35. It's Rocket Science is asking, is this live right now or is it a replay? This happened 15 years ago. Just uh, getting you caught up on yeah, four, right? what happened back in the day. Call with a jack nine. Eight eight three with two spades rolls off the deck. Both player with one spade. In case you uh, missed the Helmuth and Shulman banter earlier, and if you're just tuning in, just skip back on the stream. Like seriously, go back to the start of the stream. Helmuth and Shulman were on fire. They were chirping back and forth. They were playing hands back and forth. Just do me a favor. Do yourself a favor. Skip back on the stream if you've missed that and if you're just tuning in for those guys. Yes, we will switch the title and thumbnail. Yes, we feel really sorry we hurt your feelings having 
other players at the table, but yes, we just had to switch up our feature tables. Those are the rules when we stream day one. That's just how it is. This is our bonus coverage. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video if you do enjoy watching these players. And some of these might make the final table. Phil Helmuth and Shulman, by the way, both still in the running to make the final table. We have live reporting available as well on pgd.com. Then tomorrow on Poker Go, you can watch the final table with commentary by two of the best, Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks. So it should be a lot of fun. Meanwhile, a jack has appeared on the turn. Little and Wilson both with one, so this could create a bit of a bigger pot. Eighty thousand is the bet from Little, who has the worst worst of the two jacks. Wilson's going to come along. Happy to try to get the showdown here with his Jack-10. River Cart is the king of hearts. This might slow both players down. Bringing a third heart out there. This hand, if it goes to showdown, will result in a chop. Both players. Jacks and eights with a king kicker. Check. It does go check, check. Chop it up, boys. Move on, next hand. Let's go. We are not in the money yet. We have three Ooh, tables two. remaining. Final 12 will get paid. kind of feel like you stole that one. Just a shove. <laughs> Fuck it. Is that common timer or not? So cute, huh? I caught it as well. Oh, no. No. Ha, 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 ha. Not that clever. David F. saying, Remco, need you back on the pod. Well, I'm no longer in charge. That's a Donnie Peters question. If Donnie lets me back on, I'll come back on for a few during the WSOP. Donnie? I mean, you're definitely welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> I love making random appearances during the WSOP. Just grab the mic. Yeah, why not? Have some fun with it. When's the next pod, Donnie? Today's 35. End of, end of USPO? Good, yeah, well, might be one on Sunday. Nice. Reardon with ace-queen suited, raises it up, and takes it down. And after doubling up, it's getting a lot more involved. Now has ace six of hearts, races to 35k, and there it is. Jay Little finds ace king offsuit on the button. Looks like Little is gonna kick it up a notch, making it 90k. Nothing to play with for both blinds. Action back on Reardon. Doesn't have the famed ace-5, so ace-6, of course, not ranked nearly as high as these players, of course, do all the studying. <laughs> <laughs> a 
And Reardon does let it go. Lily gets to win this one without seeing a flop. You move out of Romero's basement yet? Little update from the outer tables. <laughs> Roger Johnson took a pot from Helmuth, after which he doubled through Dylan Wiseman. Wiseman, by the way, our chip leader with 1.195 million. Helmuth now sitting on 330K, so Helmuth still in the mix. Does need some help if he wants to make the final table tomorrow. We are slowly but surely approaching the money bubble. David Coleman with the raise is going to probably take this one down. But there's Reardon with a defendable hand. Queen 5-8. Coleman bets 65,000 with his top pair. Reardon does have one heart. Could get himself into a bit of trouble here. Not an ideal scenario to continue. And he does let it go. Peter's making a 30k with 6-4 diamonds. Chat's gotten a little quiet as well. I wonder if Chat has any rooting interest at this table. These these players, of course, not of the table talk caliber of Shulman and Helmy that we saw earlier, but still. Lots of high-level play to be had. Donnie, this is more of a final table vibe right now. Yeah, these guys are taking it way too serious. I mean, let's be honest. We're not even in the money yet, boys. Exactly. Let's have some fun. Need See, more we've, hit, we've hit 500 likes. Oh, we did hit 500 let's likes. Let's go. Okay, we can go home now. <laughs> Just kidding. We're not going home. We're not going home. Mission accomplished. Not yet, at least. Very yeah. Some uh, JL fans in the chat. That's always good to see. John a little. PokerCoaching.com. Shout out to him. I feel like he's got an army of fans. Yes. Like like low key, you wouldn't you wouldn't expect it. Cool. Coleman comes with the call with his open ender. Ten on the turn. Both players working with a pair and an open-ended straight draw. Aido's pair is best. Sure. Check, check on the turn. Nine pairs of the board on the river. Yes, 
second. Check. Got a spot Golden State, says Phil Hummies. with 90,000 here trying to get some value Fold. Aido takes that one. All right, here's a look at OctopiPoker.ai. We're doing a giveaway with them. If you go to PokerGo.com slash WinMasters, you can enter our free social media giveaway right now. You have a chance to win a seat to the 2024 Poker Masters. Also, if I'm going to give OctopiPoker a chance, OctopiPoker.ai. Join the community now for free, and maybe you'll learn, learn a thing or two. That project, of course, backed by Mr. Lucky Chewy, who's the CEO, Donnie. It's yes. a pretty cool title. Cole in the chat says, so far, U.S. Poker Open coverage has been great. Very much enjoyed. Thank you, Cole. Appreciate it. Yes, we are streaming on YouTube and on PokerGo.com. The final table is exclusively on PokerGo.com for the diehards, for the fans. Don't miss out on... Our daily final table coverage by Jeff and Brent. Donnie and I are here on YouTube at night to give you an extra taste of the action. I think the ten of hearts was also. I know still comfortable in the lead here at the feature table. Gloop in the chat is asking, have the commentators ever thrown away their life savings? Well, Donnie had a serious roulette problem back in the day, so he, he really tried. Um, I've, I've been a mediocre poker player for a long time. Somehow managed to come out on top of that one. L let me know in the chat, what's been, your, what's been your recent success at the poker table? Any, like, hot streaks at the cash game tables? Maybe some tournament wins? Let us know. Let us know. And uh, William, if you're out there, I want to know how you're doing in the Global Poker Tournament. Yes, please. Let you us know. You were supposed That's to update it. us. Check. I believe we are down to 17 players. It's Rocket Science says, I lost all my money to Nick Airball. I thought Nick Airball lost all his money to everyone else. <laughs> Nick Airball has endless money. Yeah. I saw he was in one of those 888 poker, like, ride oh, yeah, yeah. interviews with, with David Tuckman. Tuckman, yeah. Tuckman just flat out asked him. Where'd your money come from? Oh my <laughs> god, that's great. We're talking, we're just <laughs> what, did he, what did he say? Investment yeah, he banking? Kinda, he kind of just like... He gave like a non-answer answer. Like he kind of danced around it, but kind of said like... A little here, a little there, a little investments, a little this, a little... Like kind of like every... There was really no answer. <laughs> he should have just said Bitcoin. That's just the easiest way to get out from that one. 
Wow, the Blackrock says up 35k last month playing 510 at Bellagio. Now that's that's impressive. That's good stuff. Uh, Wilson here, Pocket Kings, trying to see if he can make a few chips here. And look at this. David Coleman finds ace queen of spades. Donnie, ace queen of spades, three bet, I'm assuming. What, what's your thinking here given the stack depths? Um, I think I think you can proceed here uh, just calling like Coleman. Yeah. Peters now with a decision here in the big blind. Does he want to go three ways here? He does. Close, you have 600. Okay. okay, this could be a fun one now. Peter's likely going to be out of the way here, but Wilson's got the over pair. He also has that king of spades in his hand, which does have some importance to it. Coleman flops two overs in the nut flush draw with the ace queen of spades. Flop is jack 4-3. 130,000 out there. 35. Peters checks and Wilson continues. 35,000 here. Coleman makes the call. Peters out of the way. Seven of spades here on the turn. The flush comes home for Coleman. Wilson slows down here with a check. Over half pot here is the wager from Coleman, 105 into 200. Would imagine Wilson will continue here. Does have that king of spades in his hand, of course, the overpair working, albeit not good here. Cool. There is the call from Wilson. Six of spades comes on the river, a four spade. Wilson now with that king of spades, the second nut flush. But he's up against it. Coleman, the ace, queen of spades. Wilson checks. With 410 out there, Coleman's got 350 behind. Could certainly see him coming for it all here. Ten 
Not quite all of it, it looks like I 260. Mean, such a fucking good ass, but... It is two hundred sixty thousand. Looks like Wilson has three time extensions, I believe. Probably going to be using at least one or two of those here as he if thinks this one up. What would you have? Ace five makes a straight. That's not happening. You're not going to turn it like five or something. Ace ten of clubs. <sighs> you could easily just check the turn. I mean, if you have ever clean of spades, this is fucking terrible. I don't think you do. Play second. There's 35, 420, 260 and 420. It's like no money. <coughs> so many ways to these spades. Ace queen, ace is That's the issue. I mean, you have to clean spades. You have to have like. No, I don't think so. This is so. Brock Wilson is torn in the least. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of a cooler, kind of a, you know, what bluffs does he have here? Wow, good fold, Brock Wilson. Well done. Well done, Brock Wilson. That's why they mic'd up Brock. Mother. Call out people's hands. And <laughs> that was awesome. Get the hit. <laughs> that's a pretty great fold there from Brock Wilson. Yeah, that's very impressive. Uh, Motherfucker. <laughs> you had that thing. He's done a close, and first thing he said is that. I'm glad we mic'd up Brock Wilson. Oh, on that's it. such a oh, We're never gonna know. Yeah, never oh. gonna know. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna know in about a half hour, 45 minutes, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're able to watch the stream, get caught up after the delay. So just, you'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> if you bluffed me and I folded the second knots, that's not, I'm, I'm, I should just quit. I mean, I mean, I could be the worst player ever, but... <laughs> he flashed the queen of spades. <laughs> I mean, he could have, because uh, well. he had the queen of spades. Queen jack with the queen of spades. <laughs> oh, wait, uh... I might go down as the worst play I've ever made. I'm sorry. <laughs> or the best. Yeah. Or, or the, the best. best. When he sees this, he's going to be really, really happy. Oh, yeah. I think I need to sit one out. <laughs> <laughs> Take a break. <laughs> go for a walk. <laughs> oh, man. Get some fresh air. Step outside the studio. <laughs> Collect your thoughts. Maybe do a little dance like Phil Helmuth, you know? Oh, mother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean And cuz it was your only way to bet. You didn't even bet. You didn't even bet that much. I'll make sure it's still in the farm if you call. <laughs> oh god, you're really in a fucking good mood. <laughs> Brock Wilson bringing the entertainment. Yeah. Gotta love it. I mean, I think he's like low key tilted about the <laughs> fold, but 
Little does okay. he know it was the right fold. <laughs> it's a very good fold. You are being so cocky right now, I fucking can't stand it. <laughs> I really just need luck. Dead at this table. <laughs> it is a tough table. I mean, it's, it's very it's tough. It's not not easy playing with these guys. And that's also something that makes that spot for Brock Wilson against David Coleman trickier is that he, he knows Coleman is capable. You know, like, yeah, of course it's, it might be harder for him to have some bluffs there, but I think these guys can... All get creative at times, certainly think outside the box. At least right now it appears that Brock Wilson <laughs> thinks he was bluffed <laughs> with the way that Coleman's been acting too, so. I mean, he'll see it. He'll see that he laid down the king of spades. It was the right move. Why don't you go walk to the casino and back? You'll feel a little bit better. I think so. I think I need uh, take, Just take a real few hands off. Yeah. Take a round off. Did you have deuces? Limp from Coleman here out of the small blind. Aido checks back. From the big 10, 7, 5, 2 spades. Coleman first to act. He checks. Sergio also checks. 9 of spades on the turn. Nice looking card there for Coleman. Gives him a pair of 9s. He's also got the ace of spades with the 3 spades out there. Looking pretty, pretty good is Coleman. Was a thirty thousand that gets it done. <coughs> nice little run recently for David Coleman, chipping up quite nicely. Now up over eight hundred thousand in chips. <laughs> Wilson still tilting over there on the other side of the table. It's funny because Wilson should be ecstatic that he has this many chips left, but he doesn't know that he folded to a guy with a nut flush. So yeah. It's going to take for the stream to catch up for him to feel any sort of relief, which in any other scenario when it's not live streamed, you don't get any of that relief. So it's kind of a fortunate situation for him. The question now is can he, can he, can he fend off the tilt long enough to yeah, watch yeah. that he actually made the right decision?
Much love, by the way, to everyone watching our stream. We're also going to be back tomorrow, 7.30 p.m. Pacific Time, 10.30 p.m. Eastern for some day one coverage of event number five. The uh, PGT as a whole can be followed on PGT.com as well. We have uh, recaps, highlights, leaderboards, everything else is available as well as live reporting. Uh, tomorrow is the final 10K of the series. And then we go into the 15Ks. 15K is kind of an odd price point, but it always brings out an interesting field. Uh, two 15Ks and then a 25K to cap off the series. We have eight events in total. No streaming on Sunday, so we're going to go Friday night, Saturday night, and then Monday night. We already saw some superstars come out for the 10Ks, Donnie, like Petrangelo and Dan Smith, Stephen Chidwick. So I can only imagine that we might see quite the sizable fields here for those 15 and 25Ks as well. Yeah, of course. Also, you know, Helmuth and Shulman been out there. negrani has been out there battling. Seidel, of course, out there battling. So it's going to be a good turnoff for the rest of the series. Good news for the fans. Helmuth doubles again through Dylan Wiseman on one of the outer tables. Oh, okay. Up to 515K. I think well, he did a dance. I, I hope so. I mean, Alpha Males danced on it. You know how it goes. <laughs> Speaking of Alpha Males, shout out Jimmy Bluffett in the chat oh, joining us. Look at that. Welcome, Jimmy. Look at that. Coleman's in there with a couple of sevens, raising to 45,000. Action now over to David Peters in the big blind. King eight off. He's going to defend here. Peters is short. He's working with right around 10 big blinds to start this hand. See if he can make something happen. 10-5-5. Not really what Peters is looking for at all here. He checks on over to Coleman. Coleman betting with a pair of sevens. That's 20K. Quick fold. The rise for David Coleman continues. Coleman, of course, had that super hot start to the year during the PGT kickoff series. So far on the 2024 Poker Go Tour, Coleman has seven caches. He's won three events. He's cashed for more than $700,000. I believe he made the final table of the last event, so... He was in first place for a while atop the season-long leaderboard. Dylan Wiseman ended up overtaking him with some recent success, but Coleman making that recent run in the last event here at the USPO has closed the gap a little bit, and then at least with the way he's trending right now, you just mentioned Dylan Wiseman gave some chips away to Phil Halmuth. Well, Coleman's going the other way. He's climbing up the leaderboard, so those two very much battling pretty close. About 50 points separates them at the top of the season long PGT leaderboard on that season long leaderboard Negroni sits fourth you got any eagles One eagle. Three, three big eagles. oh you got a lot of eagles yeah, you got a whole <laughs> <laughs> David Peters the regular ones what we're playing for <laughs> <laughs> that's, 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 that's the eagle. the other ones are babies uh, but a single mom and three kids <laughs> <laughs> the dad and like three more kids. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> it's a cool trophy. Where are they sitting in your place? There's like a trophy case area. It's like kind of just like shelves built into the wall. That must be a big room. I was like, that's a big, <laughs> big <laughs> shelf. It's like in the hallway. Yeah. I need David Peters to send us a photo. I know who I would put that room. thing if I won that thing. <laughs> 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 hey, what's he got? Four bracelets too, as well. 
Yeah, I mean, he's got, he's like got four eagles like also. Yeah. Like right when you walk in the house. <laughs> yeah. Have a, a table big, for it. Yeah. A big one and some small ones, I guess. Well, two big ones. <laughs> two big ones. <laughs> back to back, 2021 and 2019. David Peters won the U.S. Poker Open you know, you put the three both babies of those the years. And then take all there was no U.S. Poker Open in 2020 like twigs, due to the pandemic. Sticks, you know, like a nest. Make a nest out of your other trophies. That'd be a good art piece. They could put it in the poker museum or something. All right. When you die, I'm going to do that with your trophies for you. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wilson <laughs> then you'll have has a, a mom and dad Ido and pipped boyfriend by and one girlfriend here. and a <laughs> bunch of babies. <laughs> Flush with the queen versus the flush with the jack. You can use bracelets as like worms out of their mouth. <laughs> yeah. Sergio Ido checking behind here. Well done, sir. Wow. Wilson might be tilted about this one, too. Baby birds everywhere. One of your kids is going to be like really into birds, and you're going to have to theme their, their whole room in birds because they're going to see that eagle as a baby and think, oh my god, I love birds. You're the chef. You're the chef with the ice jacket on. You might have the ace of diamonds or something? Oh my god. It was red. Maybe I made a mistake. Probably not. Well, luckily. You look back before you look. Oh my god. Wait, is he being serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, Wilson had the best hand, so. Luckily, we're from different countries. How do you, how do you not double check? Like before you check. Yeah. That <laughs> seems kind of a big deal to like be aware of that. Because <laughs> if you got the ace of diamonds, you're betting <laughs> for sure. So like, right. If it's ever a question, just look back at your hand. Maybe I can just <laughs> say that the graphics were wrong. <laughs> you. Used to the four time banks for effect. Yeah. I really hope we're still streaming when he finds out. <laughs> Peter's all in here. King Queen of Diamonds over the top of a raise from Coleman. Peter's is short enough that Coleman's gonna make the call with Jack Ten is gonna be plenty live. And here we go. The two-time U.S. Poker Open champion, David Peters, is going to need to survive this one if he wants to continue. I mean, Coleman's been running hot. Let's see if he can continue to do so and send Peters through the rail. We're only a few spots away from the money. This will be a bit of a sour one for Peters if it doesn't come through. And 10 on the flop right away once again shows that Coleman is on a hot streak. David Peters looking for a king or a queen to survive. Turn card, five of hearts, no flush draw for either player. Peters with six outs, or he will be our next player to hit the rail and go home empty-handed. River is the eight of diamonds, and that is it. See you later, David Peters, the man who's had lots of success here inside the studio, is now eliminated. David Coleman up over one million in chips. Here he comes, folks. Here he comes. As you can see, it's getting more and more short-handed, meaning that we are indeed getting closer and closer to that money bubble. Phil Helmut still in the mix on one of the outer tables. I wonder if we're going to get a new player. I talked to David Peters for one minute. He lost focus, and now he's out. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Jay Little. Way to go. That's what it was. I'm going to do it to you next. <laughs> Couple of eights here for Aido.
Someone's going to come along here from the big blind. Nine four clubs from him. Let's see if the guy can stay hot. King, queen, four. Perhaps thinking of a plan here. At least for now, he's just going to come along and make the call. Mm -hmm. Turn brings the three of hearts. Ido still facing two overcards. I'd probably fold just because like it's like an AC thing for your stack. Action goes check it's check. Clear. Deuce of diamonds completes the board on the river. Yeah. Yeah, but, I mean, you never know. Like, someone's shipping down. They can stuff and stuff, but. No, you don't. So it's. Both players check again. Possibly, and Ido gets the showdown the winner here with pocket over, eights. It's not probably close, but. Did not see that one coming. All right, still playing here late at night in Las Vegas. And if you want to watch something else after this show wraps up, maybe try out High Stakes Poker. we got a new season out on PokerGo.com. If you want to sign up to PokerGo right now, do so by using promo code NEWHSP12 for $20 off a new annual subscription. And that also means you get to watch the U.S. Poker Open, which is airing every single day at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern. Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks are on the call for that one, so... Don't miss out and sign up right now. Oh, Williams back. Folded his way to the final two tables on Global Poke. What? Phil Homme style. Jeez. Donnie, <laughs> pull up the table. Can we watch that? I need to know Williams... If, if I know William's screen name, if he's willing to share it, I'll, I'll pull it up. Well, it's, it's only two tables. You just pull up the tables. Guy's got every blue in play, and he's throwing a fucking 25k. <laughs> Jack 10-6 rainbow on this flop. Blazing Bill. Oh, love that Bill, name. Bill, you're last in chips. You, we got to pick up the pace here. Okay. Twenty K bet and a call brings us to the turn. It's the Jack of Spades. Ido already with a lock on this hand if it goes to showdown with ten five. Some uh, mediocre hands in play here. Coleman potentially giving up on this one, which is uh, very understandable. Yep, into the muck, they go. Bill, all in, gets a shove through. Ready to go, buddy. 
I love this. I love this. This is great. Good to hear that uh, Shulman and Helmy, they're still on. I can hear them chatting in the background there. <laughs> I do hear them chatting. That's funny. Holman here on the button. Min raised to 40,000. King Queen off. Little's in there. Little, the reigning Poker Go Cup champion. 7-5 of clubs for him. King Jack 10. Nice flop here for Coleman. Yay, yo. Asked how many days in this tournament. Two days. The field will play it onto the final table today. That final table will come back tomorrow. You can watch that action on Poker Go. As Remco's mentioned a few times, Jeff Platt, Brent Hanks will be on the call. Dave, you and John got different kind of glasses because I can see your eyes, but I cannot see his. We went shopping together, too. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys got some different racks. Yeah, I can't see his at all. Not that I would do anything with the information, but I'm just... Making an observation. You think we can see your eyes? I don't know, but I, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that negates the purpose. It's actually between the two of them in terms of darkness. It's like. Okay. So I'm the brightest. No, he's the brightest. Uh, yeah, You're yeah. the middle. Oh, no. Middle. Way are you okay. <laughs> Not after that one hand. <laughs> oh, ho, ho. <laughs> shots fired. Oh, this guy thinks it's his table now. <laughs> Gets a guy off one hand. Oh man, this is great. Coleman <laughs> raising again, 10-9 off. Coleman has been opening it up recently. He is working with a stack of one million, so. Everyone folds. And Coleman takes that one. Big T asking Helmuth in the tourney. Yes, he is. He's on one of the outer tables. We had him on the feature table earlier. Him and Nick Schulman were the headliners. But we have to rotate every break. So, unfortunately, he started here on this feature table and had to be moved off. But if he makes the final table, you can watch him tomorrow on Poker Go. I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Yeah, I'm getting some information every now and then from the field. And Helmuth is still in. He is among the shorter stacks with 16 players remaining. Okay. The absolute shortest stack right now, by the way, is Nick Schulman. So neither player doing so hot after leaving the feature table. Okay. Reared and calls here out of the big blind flops. The best hand with a pair of sixes. Coleman's got an under pair to the board. But Coleman was the pre flop aggressor, so might continue here on a king high flop like this. We'll see. Twenty five is the bet.
Reardon makes the call here. Three on the turn. Makes things a little interesting here. Coleman now open-ended with those fours. Reardon straight draw himself. Action is on Reardon. Both players with decent chances in this one. Coleman with that small pair and the straight draw. Reardon with the straight draw as well, but he has a pair of sixes to outkick him. A four on the river would be quite interesting. Reardon bets 35k. Action on Coleman. Coleman in there with a call. Three pairs the board on the river, so if this one gets to a showdown, Reardon's going to take the pot. He's got 180 back, 230 out there. Get out of the way, Brock. <laughs> Go for your walk. Cool off a little bit. Reardon comes with the blocker sizing here. 25K into 230. Coleman flicks in the call. Reardon's hand is good. He's going to take that one chip up a little bit. Got a report that we did lose our guy Blazing Bill in 18th place in the Global Poker Tournament. So good run, sir. I know, you, I know you were short. But hey, final two tables. Good accomplishment there. Well done, indeed. Once again, much appreciated everyone tuning into our stream. Back tomorrow with another 10K bonus coverage, 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. I, I, have, a, I have a feeling we're going to get Helmut again. I mean, he's just, he's just like locked into the series, has an axe to grind with Roger Johnson. So <laughs> The dirt farmer. The dirt farmer. Hopefully he'll have a chance to get back at him. But yes, please keep an eye out on pgt.com for the live reporting when this stream ends. Yeah, Helmuth is on an outer table. Big T asking, what's a blocker? Honestly, no one really knows. It's just this thing that everyone tells themselves that is like good for you or possibly bad for you, <laughs> one or the other, but just kidding. A couple of sixes here for Reardon. Comes with a limp out of the small blind. Coleman's got a jack deuce in the big. Sixty thousand the raise here from Coleman.
on. There is the jam. All done there from Reardon. Does it happen? All right, I've been told that this oh, will conclude done. our live streaming for <laughs> the night. Insane. The players are like any of the tables. basically yeah, on the bubble, and they're going on a short break. Uh, luck. So if you want to continue to follow the yeah, tournament before they get down to the final table, please do so on pgt.com for now. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. This was our bonus coverage of day number one of event four tomorrow at 2 p.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. Eastern. The final table of this event will kick off with the final six players as Jeff Platt and Brent Hanks will be on the call for that coverage. My name is Rem Korinka. My Donnie Peters was alongside me. We'll be back tomorrow with more late night bonus coverage. For now, we want to wish you a good night and we'll catch you tomorrow night.